Well, I was just about to say, we are now hearing, you can hear on the radio exactly why it's so significant that there are no Bayern Munich fans in this stadium tonight. Because the Arsenal fans are in full voice with the teams about to come out. And of course, this is when those away fans would make more noise than they normally do in that corner opposite us away to our right. There's none there. They're banned tonight, the Bayern fans. It is all Arsenal inside the Emirates. And listen to the roar as the teams make their way onto the pitch. Arsenal Bayern Munich is coming up in a second, but there's been a missed penalty at the Aviva. Baker others. Sorry, it's a St Mary's, Jake Robson. 11 on the clock, Southampton nil, Coventry nil, and Hadji Wright, he slipped as he took it, he hit the bar, downs with a trip on her hair, upstepped right, hit the bar, it remains, Southampton nil, Coventry nil. Championship though, Norwich City in the final playoff place are one nil up, away to Sheffield Wednesday, who else but Josh Sargent with the goal, and in League One, Reading leader Bristol Rovers, one nil, Sam Smith, with the goal, you can hear the Champions League music. Arsenal are top of the Premier League and they could do the double this season. And if Miguel Arteta wins this Champions League, he'll take the club to a new level that Arsene Wenger, George Graham and all the rest never managed. The Arsenal will be crowned champions of Europe. They've got serious work to do before they get there, though. Starting tonight here at the Emirates as Arsenal take on Harry Kane and Bayern Munich. Here's your commentary team on Sport. Former Ireland captain Andy Townsend alongside Jim Proudfoot. Thank you, Adrian. Good evening to you. So the long wait is over. With Arsenal back in the Champions League quarterfinals after 14 years, it's been a long time. A steady decline mirrored in European performance. From the perennial March exits to their failures to qualify for the Champions League and then ultimately their failure to qualify for Europe at all. It was everything that signified that weights are heavily on Gunners' shoulders. But look where trust in the process has got them now. The return to the last day, the symbolic underlining of the fact that they are back as a power again. Now, in many ways, it was the matches against Bayern that embodied the fall from grace. Three successive 5-1 defeats, the last two of which over a three-week period in 2017, were the most eloquent summation of the downward spiral. Games that were almost daring predictions of how long it would take to make it back to a post-Christmas Champions League campaign. But they're back now. And now it's Bayern who are clinging to former glory. Miles adrift in the Bundesliga after 11 successive titles and a head coach who's on his way. There's a team which is a million miles from that last that faced Arsenal. And the Gunners have to prove that theirs is too. It is a crackling atmosphere here at the Emirates. Scarves being waved around the head. Tifo on the far side said our house and Arsenal determined to make this pay tonight. Reminder of the two teams, Arsenal, Ryer in goal, White, Saliba, Gabriel and Kivior, Erdogan, Jorginho and Rice, Saka, Havertz and Martinelli, the bench, Pardi, Jesus, Smithrow and Kedia, Tommy Asu and Trossard, Fabio Vieira, Nelson, Elneny and Zinchenko with Hein and Ramsdale, the keepers. Bayern, Neuer in goal, Kimmich de Ligt, Dyer and Davis, Leimer and Goretzka, Saleh Musiala and Gnabry, and Harry Kane up front. And Bayern in all black with light blue trim. I'm delighted to say Andy Townsend's alongside me. Andy, can't really recall seeing this place like this too often. Do you know, honestly, Jim, it is... It is a sensational atmosphere and feel around the Emirates tonight. Look, yes, it's a such a significant game. It's not going to be straightforward. It's there's going to be periods in the game where Arsenal have to tough it out. You, you always do against very good players, and despite what's going on at Bayern Munich right now, they have some world-class players out there this evening. So not going to be straightforward. But I believe, I really do believe, if Arsenal step up and do what they and play like they can they've got more than enough to win this tonight the referee is Glenn Niebert from Sweden and he's happy that everybody is in the right place we're underway the Champions League quarterfinals a reunion with old adversaries and a chance for long overdue revenge beating the new Kane gang will be the closest thing to heaven the Gunners fans have had for years time for Arsenal to prove that they are back 
as Eric Dyer drives the ball for first touch for Harry Kane and then Lima, the Austrian international, ducks his head in midfield. The uh, boot raised a little bit high. And Jorginho, very quick to offer the hand of apology. It was a genuine attempt to win the ball, but he was high. And Lima accepting that apology. And Bayern have a free kick that Eric Dyer is going to take. We'll keep you up to date with all of the goals as they go in. Across the continent and the EFL as well tonight. Norwich and Reading leading their respective games in the EFL. Coventry missing a penalty at Southampton. And Newport won Accrington nil in League 2. So Arsenal, red and white, King it from left to right. Uh, David Raya uh, retrieving the ball, but uh, just rolling it down for Gabriel, who will take this goal kick. And he will now drive it right-footed, way over the halfway line. Havertz coming to meet it. And it was won in the air by De Ligt. Former Champions League semi-finalist in his Ajax days. Bayern have been knocked out at this stage in each of the last three years. Back he goes for Neuer, who's won this competition, unsurprisingly, in his Bayern career. He finds Dyer. Dyer cracking the ball through the midfield. Musiala are able to bring it forward now into the uh, inside left channel for Bayern. A little bit of movement comes ahead of him from Harry Kane. He's played it back for Lima. Lima to his right-hand side for Oshua Kimmich, who can bring it forward. Now play it out towards the Bayern right flank. Leroy Sane. Receiving it, coming towards the corner of the penalty area, sweeping across in, which is half dealt with. Kane trying to nod it back into the fray. Arsenal get it away, and Erdegaard takes a touch on the edge of his own D and very calmly will help Arsenal play out from the back end. Yeah, decent start from Bayern to start with there. Good ball in moments ago from Eric Dyer into Harry Kane, cushions it back for Jamal Musiala, who's playing in that 10 position. Serge Gnabry, who they know very well here, and Leroy Sane offering the width going to go high and wide try and pin Ben White and give it all back as far as they possibly can and then see if they can get those overloads in, in and around Jamal Musiala we'll see England's winning two goals to the good in Dublin but they have just missed the penalty here's Faker others from the spot she hit the post she went the other way to the one she dispatched just shortly so it is still Ireland nil, England 2 and Norwich 2 up at Hills we're away to Sheffield Wednesday uh, boy a sights who's been in good form recently scoring that goal Norwich up to fifth if they win tonight and this one nil nil with three minutes on the clock here in North London ask the fans away to our right get to their feet and urge their counterparts to do likewise the high ball chipped over the top just goes behind Ben White and out of play for a throw which will be taken on the bye and left the deadlock already broken at the Bernabeu Jeff Peters it's Real Madrid nil Manchester City 1 Bernardo Silva what a goal free kick low around the wall keeper dive to his right hand side couldn't keep it out incredible start for Manchester City they lead 1-0 in Spain and 11th goal of the season for Bernardo Silva both of those teams coming into tonight just one defeat in their last 35 games and it's Manchester City that lead very early on there by a goal to nil this one's still nil nil and chanceless with three and a half minutes gone Musiala out of the left an opportunity for Davis the Canadian international to take on Saka inside the box pulled it back instead for Musiala to Davis again Davis around the edge of the penalty area Lima now and Lima will go deeper the, the booze will tell you whenever Dyer or Kane are in possession it was Dyer that time and he's gone to his right for De Ligt and it's Bayern that have had the majority of possession in the early stage no real surprise at that as the ball is swept through the area and Musiala can't get the touch that he wants down towards the corner flag now he's faced up by Bukayo Saka trying to find a way past him and Bayern will play down towards Davis again Deadlock broken in Spain. Deadlock broken at St Mary's as well. Jake Robson. 20 on the clock. Southampton 1, Coventry 0. Kyle Walker-Peters with a 25-yard pile driver. He cut inside Eccles and unleashed it. Bradley Collins flat-footed. Southampton 1, Coventry 0. So Coventry have missed the penalty and Southampton lead there. Now the ball goes out of play here for a throw that will be taken on the Arsenal. Right, five gone and it's 0-0. Yeah. Uh, Bayern have settled better. The opening exchange has just had more of the ball. They've kept it quite nicely. Big raw went up there. Eric Dyer just uh, unfortunately not able to keep that in. Arsenal with the ball in uh, in their territory now. Ben White has it in his hands with the throw in, but they just like to get on the front foot a little bit more. Arsenal, I think Bayern in particular have started this game particularly well. 
And we've already seen a lot of the Kyle Saka in action in a defensive capacity. He's going to have his work cut out against Davis, who has shown that he's happy to push forward as much as he wants down that left hand side from left back. Temptation always when you're at home and your opponent seemingly has more of the ball is to really press hard and high and go after them. Arsenal just quite rightly. Listen, they can have as much ball as they like as long as they don't threaten David Raya and that back four too much. So Arsenal, I think, sensibly keeping their shape, allowing Bayern Munich to have the ball with Eric Dyer and De Ligt and only start to threaten when they move forward. And now Saliba will work it through the midfield for Erdegaard. Saka back for Ben White, who's started more than 20 successive games now. Ball's gone out of play for a throw. Uh, Thomas Tuchel just cheekily flicked the ball away from White to stop him taking the throw quickly and then dare I say left his foot in a little on the edge of the technical area as White was trying to get in a position to take the throw a dire heads away goes out for another throw that White will take five or six yards in a drift of the edge of the bye and penalty area nil nil six minutes gone with neither goalkeeper forced into a save so far and Manchester City leading at Real Madrid live on TalkSport 2 courtesy of Bernardo Silva Offside flag comes up against Saka. The ball uh, hacked away by the Licht on the edge of his own penalty area anyway. Six and a half minutes in and nil-nil it remains. There was not a huge amount of Champions League experience in this Arsenal squad. Yeah, Havertz and Jorginho and Co. have played in this competition before, notably. Martinelli trying his luck oh. here and he fires one not too far wide from the edge of the D left foot in effort and that was Bayern trying to play out for the back getting caught yeah that was Pukayo Saka good press the ball was played to Bayern's left back Alfonso Davis Saka pressurised him pinched the ball off him immediately fed it to Havers who rolled it along the edge of the 18 yard box to Martinelli left foot strike wide of the target and now as Bayern try and play out from the back the press does come there's Erdegaard on line up and he forced an error sloppy ball that was played forward and Arsenal have it at the back again with Saliba Saliba down towards Ben White now towards Saka as he pushed from behind he was by Alfonso Davis took a waves a finger acting as the, the pantomime villain here today and still with the histrionics on the edge of his yeah. technical area he's uh, making the point to anybody that will listen that that shouldn't have been a free kick Arsenal take it, chip it over the top for Ben White. And it rolls past him, out past you know, and out of play. Tuchel makes Mikel Arteta look like Carlo Ancelotti, did not he, on the sideline? Do you know what I mean? He's pacing up and down, Tuchel. He's just actually gone and sat down for the first time and he's moaning about every decision that goes against his team, every misplaced pass. Whereas Arteta at the moment, quite nicely composed, standing outside, hands behind his back, just keeping tabs on everything. A diet clears as Neuer played it towards him, but as soon as Neuer played it out to the side of the penalty area, that was when Arsenal engaged and pressed. Erdegaard in towards Saka, Davis has caught him again, and he's going to get foot this time. Alfonso Davis, the first player to have his name taken, just gives Tuchel another excuse to moan this time to Adam Lada back the fourth official and still he's having a go and he's got to be careful he doesn't get himself in the book as well but Davis caution for a second valley quick succession on Saka I, I actually think that's a little harsh it's great for Arsenal and it's great for Bukayo Saka up against someone as as quick and as effective going forward as Alfonso Davis we'll see how effective he, he is trying to defend running back in his own 18 yard box now but I thought that decision was a little harsh on the Bayern man uh, in the EFL Mansfield leading by a golden nil Wrexham won Crawley nil uh, Accrington have equalised at Newport in fact Wrexham have scored again Paul Mullen two in two minutes there and Phil Parkinson's man two goals to the good second uh, looking for back to back automatic promotions good value for it. it's Mullins 22nd goal of the season uh, we played 10 minutes here it's 0-0 Declan Rice standing over this free kick it's a yard in from the right hand touchline and plays it forward towards Erdegaard down towards Saka 
Saka will feel that he's got license to really take on Davis and Gnabry. And now that Davis is on a yellow card, it was Gnabry that faced him at that time. And he's having a look at Rice as Rice plays it back through the midfield. Another guy, the White, who's the deepest of the Arsenal outfield players. He's sky the left-footed ball out towards the far touchline. And Martinelli, with the aid of the corner flag, has done brilliantly to keep in. Everybody stopped, including yeah. Martinelli, but play goes on. Now he has overrun it, and he goes out of play for a goal kick. That was a sensational one-two with the corner flag if he meant it. Did it great, didn't he? Ben White it was who stood a, a looping crossfield ball towards Gabriel Martinelli, who was sprinting after it to keep it in. Rattled the corner flag, as you say, Jim. Everybody stopped, all the Bayern players and the Arsenal players, before the referee just signalled, keep going, keep playing. And unfortunately, he just run it out for a goal kick. Uh, Blackpool leading Fleetwood in the Foul Coast derby, Jake Beasley. With that goal, Fleetwood in uh, desperate relegation trouble. Uh, the ball here in North London, back with David Raya away to our left, and he'll play towards Saliba. 11 minutes in, still 0 0. Bayern with a, a very good four or five minutes. And Arsenal have worn to their task in the uh, five or six minutes since then. There is a train of thought that. Despite the fact that Bayern's recent league performances have been poor, they'll be quite circumspect, really, in those games, knowing that the Bundesliga title is lost against the unbeaten Lady Pecusa side, and there's a consequence. It's all eggs in this particular basket. Uh, they've started well tonight, but Arsenal, as I say, have uh, been getting better as the game has gone on. We're 11 minutes in, and it's still goalless. Yeah, Arsenal are now up to speed. They're the ones with the majority of possession. Saka's got it, Davis trying to rob him on the edge of the penalty area. Havertz did well to win it back. White for Saka! Yeah! Get in! Emirates euphoria! Bakayo Saka! Hurling it in! With the instep of the left boot! In past Neuer into the bottom left-hand corner! And Arsenal lead Bayern Munich by a golden hill. It has taken them back! Ten minutes to get their noses in front. What a start for Mikel Arteta's Gunners. Fabulous finish. Showed so much composure and control. You know, sometimes you get in the box, you have a, an opportunity to shoot, and you put your head down, you put your laces through it and shut your eyes. And then, as Bukayo Saka did here quite rightly, decided to just control that. He actually used the bind defender, I think it was Eric Dyer in front of him, almost as that screen to curl it round him and beyond Manuel Neuer into that far corner. It's, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful strike. He doesn't have to hit it that hard. All he's got to do is roll that around Eric Dyer and just let the curl on the ball drift it inside that far post. And after that initial five minutes from Bayern, it's Arsenal now who have got the lead. Well, what a start. Arsenal leading by a golden hill, a 12th minute goal from Bukayo Saka, his 18th of the season, and another goal at the Bernabeu, Jeff. It's the equaliser for Real Madrid, it's one apiece here, Eduardo Camavinga from distance, hit it well, took a huge, huge deflection, and it's wrong-footed the keeper, it's Real Madrid 1, Man City 1. So 1-1 one, one there, and City pegged back, Arsenal leading Bayern here by a golden hill they've got such a good record this season when they've scored first in games they've won 27 out of 32 and when you got the defensive record that we were talking about before the game only letting five in the last 13 yeah when you've got a one nil lead you really fancy your chances what they will hope for from here now is that that is the foundation uh, to be able to lay the platform for getting the job done in north london tonight before they go to bavaria live on the Talk Sport Network a week tomorrow. His Lima is dropping deep between the uh, two Bayern centre halves. Uh, the German press telling us in the press room before the game that they're not sure about the character of this Bayern side and that an early concession would be really dangerous. Let's see if those words turn out to be prophetic. Here's David Ryer on the edge of the six-yard box, getting it out. Jorginho having to scoop it away on the half volley to Saliba. Now Erdegaard has it on the edge of the penalty area. Arsenal will calm things down, bring it forward, and they lead 1-0 with 14 minutes gone here on Talk Sport, Andy. Yeah, very impressive stuff for them now. Absolutely dictating, setting the tone. Saliba and co, everybody up on the halfway line. 
Odegaard on the ball just rolling it across that back line just waiting for the moment to go forward into those strikers all of a sudden now Bayern whereas they were in the first four or five minutes on the front foot now just looking a little unsure and more action on the Bernabeu Jeff it's Real Madrid 2 Manchester City 1 they turned it around two goals in two minutes long ball forward Rodrigo onside into the penalty area he poked it past the keeper it took an age to get over the line what a turnaround Real Madrid 2 Manchester City 1 an extraordinary opening 15 minutes of Champions League football tonight Manchester City led and now trail live on TalkSport 2 and here Arsenal lead Bayern Munich by a golden hill and Havertz will play it for and Ben White is in oh, and what a Zoya chance. can make the save what a chance Oh, that's an incredible chance for Ben White. Again, it was a clip ball forward. Ben White had done really well to run beyond Bukayo Saka and Serge Gnabry had tracked him all the way. And he sort of half-heartedly nodded it away. The ball comes to Ben White, only Neuer to beat, and he hits it straight at him. Well, Ben White, the man who scored only four in 125 Arsenal appearances, probably not the man that you wanted that chance to fall to. And if he could have gone to the open side of the golden Neuer's right then you just never know he couldn't it remains 1-0 the fact that Arsenal have created another opportunity of that quality so quickly can only stand them in good stead it has been an opening 16 minutes if there were any doubts whether they felt that they belonged at this level bearing in mind that so many of them never played the Champions League knockout stages before I think we know and they know more importantly than they do yeah they certainly do they're playing like a team that are accustomed to Champions League football, that are accustomed to, to negotiating their way through these ties. Look, long way to go here, and of course, let's not forget what's going to happen in just over a week's time in Munich. But Arsenal are in a great position already. Atmosphere level is right up there, and that, that's what's driving them forward right now. I leave one Barnsley lead is Stevenage by a golden hill. Adam Phillips for the tights, and Arsenal will bring the ball forward again slipped into the feet of Kai Havertz half time at the Aviva England leading by two goals still away to Ireland they missed a penalty as well here's Bukayo Saka Gunners leading courtesy of his goal his 18th goal of the season and he's scored in four of the five Champions League ties on this ground this season Musiala's going to be able to bring it away just chipped it into space from the edge of his own penalty area Raya scampered out and he was almost on the edge of the centre circle. Now he's having to retreat quickly. Bayern have picked up possession. We'll turn it forward through the midfield. Good run inside the penalty here from Mabry. It's 1-1. Oh. And it is so eminently preventable. It is. Serge Gnabry with the equalising goal. Arsenal guilty of overplaying it around the halfway line. Just committing too many bodies forward. Raya racing out. And from that point, as soon as they lost possession, he was stranded and struggling. Bayern have worked it effectively and Serge Gnabry the one-time gunner has tied it up a 1-1 yeah. it's a great finish from Serge Gnabry but you're right it's so preventable it's a it's a, a ball that's hoofed up the middle Harry Kane's never going to get it David Raya almost comes to the centre circle in the middle of the field he now backpedals because Gabriel gives the ball away on the cheap Goretzka makes a really good run behind Declan Rice. Gnabry's onside and he slots it past David Raya, who's standing on the edge of the six-yard box and can't do much about it. In fact, pops it through his legs. And Bayern from nowhere, from nothing, have managed to get themselves back in this tie. That This is what I told you about this Champions League. It's astonishing at this level. You make, a, you make an error, you hand your opponent a gift, they take it. Here's Erdegaard, Saka trying his luck. That Ben White miss all of a sudden looks potentially more significant now. Could have been 2-0 within 90 seconds at the other end. It's 1-1. And Serge Gnabry's fifth goal of an injury hit campaign. Erdegaard on the edge of the penalty area. Arsenal snatching it effort with Martinelli hitting it briskly when perhaps he had time to take a touch. Ryer in a really advanced position, acting as sweeper keeper again. And Arsenal just sneak to calm things down. So Manchester City scored first, pegged back, and now 2-1 down. Arsenal scored first here. And up to the pegged back, the lead lasted six minutes. 
That goal, incidentally, the first that David Raya has conceded in 504 minutes. Yeah, I didn't think the goalkeeper, Jim, needed to come that far. Gabriel is always getting there. Harry Kane's never going to beat Gabriel in a sprint from the halfway line to the ball. The goal is... The goal has come 40, 45 yards off his line and then he starts to backpedal. Gabriel could have just rolled it back to him if he'd have just stood on the edge of his box and just waited for it. Didn't need to come all that way. Uh, Bakayo Saka has been fouled by Musiala to free kick to Arsenal uh, in League Two. Stockport can be promoted tonight if they win at Colchester and Mansfield lose at home to Forest Green. Then the uh, Hatters will be up and Stockport lead with a goal from the veteran Nick Powell and uh, a big goal in the National League Wilson in relegation trouble but they lead South, ha uh, South End by a golden hill through Manny Duku. you're listening to Arsenal against Bayern Munich in the Champions League on Talk Sport with Village Hotels visit villagehotels.com so Declan Rice standing over this set piece and Bayern have kept an artificially high defensive line eight yards outside the penalty area and that is probably only about 12 yards away from where Declan Rice stands over this free kick. Four in a deliberately offside position, they retreat, the Bayern defence drops back in, headed away by a Bayern player on the edge of the box, and clear back out towards Ben White on halfway. Rice now, angles a long ball over the top, and it's uh, inch perfect, down towards Martinelli, nice take from him, can chest it down. Now he has the opportunity to try and run at Davis. Pull back towards Gabriel, then to Jorginho, out towards the left-hand side of the Arsenal penalty area again. Four in the box waiting for it, and Kivior just nods it into the turf. And it spits up into the hands of Manuel Neuer, who can make a comfortable save. 21 breathless minutes yeah. behind us at 1-1. Well, it's been wonderful. It's been a great start to the game, it really has. And of course, it's not letting us down either here on TalkSport, is it? Over in Madrid. You know, that's been pretty remarkable, what's been going on there, but... This stage of this competition, as I mentioned, is always so exciting. It really is. Now, free kick scored against Harry Kane. Uh, Gabriel was the Arsenal player involved. Kane immediately, after the uh, pair of them crumpled into a heap inside the centre circle, said that Gabriel was the instigator of that by pulling his shirt. Kane then leaned into him and brought him down. And it's a free kick that Arsenal will take just inside. Bayern Munich territory. Jim, I think Harry Kane's got to be cute with Saliba and Gabriel. Don't fight them. Don't fight them. That's what they want. They want to get close and he wants to grab you, Gabriel, and he wants to disrupt whatever you're thinking. I think Harry Kane's got to be smarter tonight if he's going to have an effect on the game. He's hardly had a kick so far. Well, that's the former Ireland international captain Andy Townsend with us here on Talk Sport. Over on Talk Sport 2 right now. Real Madrid 2, Manchester City 1. Well, Sam Matterface alongside Stuart Pearce. TalkSport Network, the only national radio station to bring you both of the Champions League quarterfinals live tonight. White with the throw for Arsenal. Chested down by Dyer before Erdegaard could get there. Cleared out towards Harry Kane. Uh, Kane's got Saliba making life difficult for him. Saliba has fouled him. It's been another goal. Add some Marys, Jake. And it's liftoff. Southampton 2, Coventry nil. This time, Che Adams. A bit of a scramble in the goal mouth. And there was Adams to poke it in. Southampton 2, Coventry nil. Now, Southampton win tonight. They're nine points adrift of the top two. They still have a game in hand. Now, uh, Che Adams scoring his 14th goal of the season for Russell Martins, man, who've only won two of the last eight and uh, will almost certainly, you think, finish in the playoff positions and uh, in all likelihood they'll finish fourth. We'll have all of the playoffs for you, every single one from the Championship League One and League Two in a dramatic conclusion to the season in May here on the TalkSport Network. Martinelli bringing it forward here. Now Bayern can turn it all the way back for Neuer, who slams it right-footed towards halfway. It's volleyed back by Saliba, chested down by Davis. Davis getting away from Erdegaard as he comes into a central position. He's waiting for Kimmich to make his way forward over the halfway line on the Bayern right. Now Kimmich now will control it and go back inside his own half for De Ligt. De Ligt back to Eric Dyer, who's never won on this ground, incidentally, in all the North London derbies that he played. Harry Kane only won one. Dyer, like Kane, has scored here though. And he's got the ball again inside his own penalty area and will play it back for Neuer. Neuer out towards Dyer. And as soon as Neuer plays the pass, that is the cue for the Arsenal press. Erdegaard putting the pressure on Dyer. Get it forward towards halfway. 
Bayern win the seconds with Davis. Lima did well to receive the ball that was slightly behind him. And he stuck out his left foot, brought it into his control and gets it out towards the Bayern Munich right-hand side for Kimmich. Saka on 12, Gnabry equalising on 18. It's 1-1 between Arsenal and Bayern Munich here at the Emirates. Dyer getting it forward, Kane dropping deeper, clipping one forward, almost perfect. It's an excellent third man run through the midfield from Goretzka. Lucky, lucky Harry Kane dropping off that back line into the pocket, receiving the ball half turn, has a little look up, spots the run of Leon Goretzka. The pass was just always going away from him into the goalkeeper's arms. In League One, Lake Norrin one exit and nil, Oli O'Neill. And here's Ben White. Back towards Jorginho. Jorginho's playing the 550th game of his club career tonight. Now Rice. What a ball that is over the top right-hand side of the area. Inch perfect for Saka. And good covering for the retreating Gnabry in the battle between the two goal scorers. It's the former Arsenal man that got the touch, puts it over the line and out for Arsenal's first corner of the night, Andy. Was a really good ball from Declan Rice. Ball to Yarda. Clipped in behind that Bayern back line. Bukayo Saka was onto it. He was just waiting for Kai Havertz and others to arrive in the box. And just as he lets the ball settle, Gnabry it is who pokes it out for another Arsenal corner. Which Sack is going to take on the right. And it'll be a left-footed in swinging delivery. He does have the opportunity to knock it short to Erdegaard, who's feigning disinterest on the edge of the penalty area at the moment, but nobody's marking it. Saka clipping it in towards the near post, looking for the near post flick, which came Kimi all in, tries to react. It's a real ricochet and bundle in the six. And Neuer throws himself forward and pounces on the loose ball. You know, such a dangerous corner that from Bakao Saka because he floated, flighted that ball into the near post. No pace on it, which makes it difficult to get any distance on it. And the ball was bobbling around about a yard from the post before eventually Manuel Neuer gleefully manages to grab it. Now Sane with a reverse ball through the midfield. Gunners trying to win it back before Goretzka could get there. And then Kane has lost there. And Saliba and Gabriel calm things down at the back between them. Arsenal coming into this on the back of six home wins in a row. 11 wins in the last 13 games in all competitions. And they've lost only four out of 32 in the league. Bayern, on the other hand, have lost almost as many as they've won in 2014, which is utterly inconceivable, really. Six defeats in a calendar year by the first week of April. That's just extraordinary. Here's Erdegaard bringing the ball forward now down the Arsenal right. Tries to uh, turn it in field under duress away from Lima. Couldn't find Saka. Lima brings it away. The Austrian to Kane who can turn. Kane trying to get uh, the prolific pace of Sane away, but the pass wasn't good enough. Uh, he took all his hands out. A little bit more circumspect in his arguing this time, but I think making the case that he felt that his man was just uh, bumped and barged as he tried to make the run to get on Kane's through ball, but Arsenal can mop up. Yeah. That's Harry Kane again dropping into around the centre circle. And Lee Rosane this time making that run in between Kivior and Gabriel. Gabriel doing well to spot that. And David Raya just staying at home. Oh, Gabriel so... rolls it back to him. That's exactly what would have happened. But unfortunately, with the with the Bayern goal, the goalkeeper had a bit of a rush of blood. Just panicked a little bit, I think, come flying out, wanted to take the ball. He didn't need to. Gabriel then gave it away. And they were very quickly punished. Uh, in League One, Carlisle already down, but they lead away to Cheltenham, who are desperately hoping that they don't have to play Carlisle next season. Carlisle, as I say, relegated at the weekend. Cheltenham third bottom, two points off safety with a game in hand, but it's the Cumbrians that lead in Gloucestershire with a goal from Sam Lavelle. And Josh Karoma has scored for Huddersfield, who lead at Preston by a golden hill. Huddersfield, a point clear of the bottom three. It'd be a big win if they can hold on to that. Arsenal bring it forward here. It's 1-1 on TalkSport. Just shy of the half-hour mark. Lima pokes it away. Musiala battling, and the Swedish ref has said that Saliba nudged him. And it's a free kick to Bayern just outside their own box. 1-1, and still Real Madrid leading Manchester City by two goals to one. Live for you right now, over on TalkSport 2. Yep, and it's got that typical feel of a big Champions League game here, hasn't it, where the tempo picks up to such a level and then it drops a little bit as the teams roll it around at the back have a breather and get ready to go again uh, Doncaster 1 Walsall nil. mid-table clash in League 2 Sane brings the ball forward and still he goes and still he oh. goes and there 
Bayern no, was given it. a bang he's given and it's a penalty to Bayern. Leroy Sane with a brilliant run forward. The referee did well to keep up with play. And he said there was a shot by Saliba. Sane brought down inside the Arsenal penalty area. And it's a chance for Bayern to take the lead from the spot with half an hour gone. And the just, VAR will have a look at it. Is yeah. there much of a case to answer there? Or has, has Saliba caught it? Or has Sane tripped himself up? I'll tell you what, it's, I'm just trying to see the initial... No initial contact. It's whether Saliba catches him across the side of his left knee, stroke thigh. I don't think it's going to get overruled. I don't think it's going to get changed. Not in these games, not in the Champions League. And so that means that Harry Kane will have the chance from the penalty spot to make it a goal-scoring return to North London. Kane has spotted the ball down. Just composing himself. The man who scored more goals in North London derbies than any other player in history. And now on his return in a Bayern Munich shirt, and he's got a chance to score his 15th career goal against the Gunners. Kane has taken four steps back. Arsenal fans doing everything they can to put him off, and he's rolled it with nonchalant ease into the bottom right-hand corner. Ryan committed himself. Kane has scored, and Bayern have turned it around. They lead by two goals to one. And with a sense of inevitability, this is a goal-scoring return from Harry Kane. Yeah, great penalty as he ran up to it. Actually, just took a little step, didn't he? A little hop in the air almost, and then landed and rolled it into the opposite corner to which David Raya had dived. So from one down, they now lead 2-1. Fair play to Bayern, all credit to them, but the goals are preventable. Arsenal have got to do better. Leroy Sane has run... 45, 50 yards with the ball at his feet. He's gone past about five red shirts before eventually there's a little bit of contact from Saliba. He goes down, he gets the pen, he gets the decision and Bayern are now back in front. I oh, beg your pardon, are in front for the first time. But I think the manner with which Arsenal have conceded these goals, they haven't conceded hardly any lately, we know that. But the two tonight have been poor. Well, that's six that he's got in ten on this ground now, Harry Kane. Five of the six have been penalties. 2-1 Bayern Munich lead. Now the ball over the top, Raya's uh, going to be much more circumspect. It comes back, lets the ball roll inside his penalty area, picks it up, gets it out quickly. It's a test of Arsenal nerve yeah. and resilience here. What they haven't got to do, they haven't got to go trying to get you know, score within a couple of minutes. Lovely if they do. What they've got to be very careful of now is a team like Bayern, with those boys in the forward areas in particular, with those guys operating, be very, very careful that they don't lose possession, lose their shape and allow Bayern to score again. Here's Kivior in the Arsenal midfield. 2-1, Bayern Munich lead. That's the lever back for Gabriel. Arsenal have certainly had a couple of really good opportunities, particularly that Ben White chance when it was 1-0. Oh, what a chance. It certainly was, Jim. He's in a great position, Ben White. Occasionally he gets in there, doesn't he, Ben White? He gets into those real good goal-scoring positions. You know, he's done everything right. He's hit the target, but unfortunately he's hit it straight at Manuel Neuer, and it was easily saved when really and truly anybody else, I think, they knock it in. Henley wants Steven Inch of equalised the home to Barnsley. Jamie Reid's 22nd goal of the season. The ball down towards Saka on the Arsenal right-hand side. Hasn't had too many chances to take on Davis since the Canadian got a yellow card. Gnabry has done a really good defensive job doubling up in front of Davis. Saka's won a throw this time, which uh, White uh, motions to take quickly. Saka ran away from uh, where he looked as though he was going to throw it. And he played it to Erdegaard. Erdegaard with a little, little nutmeg flick and then gets a return ball from Saka. Tried a shot from a tight angle, which was blocked. Bayern will try and bring it away. And then Jorginho's pushed to the ground by Lima. Jorginho then tries to take the free kick quickly, smacking it into Nabry from about a foot away. And the referee goes across and tells him off rather than Nabry for not retreating. Yeah. Still no chance of getting out of the way of that. No. Jorginho there, in all fairness, is trying to get Gnabry booked there. Trying to get, get him carded. 
he goes down, he tries to knock it very quickly and he knows Gnabry can't get out of the way. Now Saka to the edge of the penalty area for Kai Havertz. Jorginho working back through, Saka Ooh. almost able to get there. There's Goretzka that cleared. And now it's played forward uh -oh. and Sane is in. And he's got 40 yards to run and he's clean through. He's on the edge of the area and it's a brilliant saving challenge. A goal saving challenge, potentially a tie saving challenge from Ben White. What a challenge. His Arsenal's line was so high. Tottenham S was about 10 yards inside the Bayern half. And Sane could make the run on a ball that was dinked over the top. And he had acres of space to work with and he's quick. But White came back, and as soon as Sane had to go inside, White timed his challenge to perfection. Well, he's guilty of a big miss at one end, but oh. that was brilliant from White to the other. Stunning challenge, because Leroy Sane looks all set to score. He's released from inside his own half, and he runs from the halfway line totally unopposed until Ben White sprints back to get a block just as he's about to hit it from 12 yards out, something like that. He's just about to to hit it maybe beyond David Raya until Ben White gets there huge moment in the game there Arsenal a little naive here at times when they lose in possession you've got to switch on quicker and react faster than what they have done a couple of times here Declan Rice takes the free kick clip towards the edge of the area and a header goes wide of Manuel Neuer's right hand post we can get half time details from Southampton Jay Robson Southampton 2 Coventry 0 Saints lead through a Carl Walker Peters deflected 25 yard shot and a poke home from Che Adams 7 to the break Hadji Wright missed a 9 minutes a penalty on 9 minutes with the score 0-0 nil -nil for the visitors Southampton 2 Coventry 0 and half time for the leaders Leicester at Millwall Ian Abraham Millwall 0 Leicester 0 both sides have flurries of possession without really making them count and as Shakespeare said Jim this really is much ado about nothing Millwall 0 Leicester uh, Leicester, the leaders, two points inside the top three with a game in hand. Leeds in third. They go top if they win and Leicester don't. They're still nil-nil at home to Sunderland. That's an eight o'clock kickoff. Now we'll be at Anna Road as soon as the ball hits the back of the net in that game. Goal is there. 2-1 to Bayern here. 2-1 to Real Madrid. At home to Manchester City. Epic first legs with the promise of even more to come next week. And you'll hear the two games live on the TalkSport network. Kane bringing the ball forward. And he goes out of play for a throw that'll be taken over on the uh, Bayern right-hand side. You're listening to Arsenal against Bayern Munich in the Champions League on TalkSport, supported by TNT Sports. And don't forget, you can watch tonight's game and all of the Champions League games live only on TNT Sports. Now the whistle goes again. Has it become a little bit fractious and fragmented yeah. in the last uh, four or five minutes or so to free kick the Bayern here, Andy? Yeah, and again there, I think Matthias De Ligt just under a little bit of pressure from Kai Havertz, felt a nudge, hits the floor, gets the free kick, and of course that takes the sting out of everything, just allows them to reset. Now the referee's been very consistent tonight, Glenn Niebuhr, but he has given everything, or he pretty has. much everything. He has indeed. Now Saka, Musiala, trying to get away from Erdogan. He's not well to come back and stick his left leg around the side of Musiala to win possession back. And now Declan Rice will play it for. And towards the Arsenal left-hand side for Martinelli. He checks back on the bottom left-hand corner of the penalty area. Bayern have got plenty back, six in all, but Arsenal getting the bodies forward as we've seen, almost to a fold at times. Martinelli now, trying to win it back, has lost out of Goreska, who's uh, proved a, a pretty decent midfield shield in front of that Bayern back four so far. Ball headed away by Ben White, brought back down from Harry Kane, very deep. And now he will uh, just try and step around the challenge of Martinelli, who's fouled him. And it's a free kick to Bayern midway inside their own half. Six to go to half time. Yeah, good play from Harry Kane there. He's only 20, 25 yards from the edge of his own box. Chest the ball down, hangs on to it, resists the challenge, and then gets clipped and goes down and takes the free kick. So Bayern sensibly just trying to take the sting out of this, get into half time, protecting their lead. So it clips the ball forward straight out of play. The throw that Ben White will take. Uh, Nicks a couple of yards as he does so, headed down by Havertz, Erdogan trying to get into a position to shoot, and Goreski came back for Bayern in the nick of time to knock it away from him on the edge of the box, bounces over the touchline, out of play for another throw, which Havertz will take, Arsenal 2-1 down, having led inside the opening 12 minutes through Bakayo Saka's goal, uh, but 20 minutes later, found themselves adrift. 
Throw taken by White, finding Saka. Saka on the edge of the penalty area. Gabriel coming onto it. He's nudged it to his left, Akivior, who's come back into the side tonight, replacing Zinchenko on two changes to the team that won impressively at Brighton at the weekend. Martinelli, the other, preferred to Jesus. Here's Saka, now on the Arsenal right, taking on Davis, trying to cut between him and Musiala inside the penalty area. And losing possession. And then Davis clears it into Saliba. And it goes out of play for a throw to Bayern in their left back position. Yeah, Arsenal scrapping away still. Trying to pinch that ball, turn it over high up the park. When they've done that and they've found a couple of cute passes, 20, 30 yards from goal, they've looked dangerous. They've just been really disappointed with the manner of the goals they've conceded. First one in particular just didn't need to happen. The second one, it's a great run. But Arsenal just exposed, just caught a little bit and were vulnerable and punished. And that is what Champions League football is all about at this stage of this competition. Yeah, in some ways a similarity between the uh, two goals, both coming after Bayern, a turnover possession around the halfway line. And they burst forward with pace into Arsenal territory. They had another opportunity to do exactly the same as well with that great white challenge to deny Sane on the run. Uh, Bayern clearly thinking that that is the way that you can expose the Gunners. Good quick throw taken by White here, finding Erdegaard inside the penalty area. Uh, ten back inside the box for Bayes. Brilliant from uh, Erdegaard, a flamboyant little flick on the pirouette round the corner of Eric Dyer, who is able to get a touch in the end and put it out of play for an Arsenal corner. Well, the last corner that Bacow Saka floated in from this right-hand side drifted towards that near post. At the moment, Gabriel, Kivior... The big guys are all loitering around the back post. I think they're going to make that run towards the near. Can the delivery, can he find the right delivery? Saka taking a deep breath. Raises his right arm above his head. Now they come in on mass. It's headed towards goal, but cleared. And then the referee, and Spanish from pushing and shoving, and has given a free kick to Bayern inside their six-yard box. Yeah, I thought that corner was beautifully flighted from Bakao Saka. Gabriel it was who was attacking it unfortunately they're just a judge to have caused a little bit of pushing and shoving right under that near post and buy and get that free kick now Manuel Neuer is going to take it Neuer who's playing his ninth game against Arsenal a two time Champions League winner who's struggling through injury for much of the season and that skiing accident after the World Cup and there's missed the last month with an adductor problem but he's back tonight for his 514th Bayern Munich appearance now, Thomas Muller, who's on the bench for Bayern, played his 700th game for the club at the weekend. And he comes on, it's going to be his 150th Champions League appearance tonight. His side leading by two goals to one. A side that have lost half as many games as they've won away from home this season, which uh, really bucks the historical trend. Six defeats on the road for Bayern. Here's Bukayo Saka in possession on the Arsenal right-hand side. And the ball's just gone over the line and out of play for a bye throw. Two to go to half-time, Andy. Yeah, look, Arsenal, of course, very much in the game. As I mentioned, they've just got to forget that now, those goals they've conceded. I'm sure there'll be a few brief words, be a little bit more positive. Think they're a little bit sharper and quicker when you go out of possession. But all the emphasis, all the focus has got to be on the positive stuff. Get it to Bakayo Saka. Alfonso Davis on that yellow card. Get it to him as often as you can. Gabriel Martinelli not had quite so much change out of Joshua Kimmich. Kai Havertz, again, not perhaps seen as much of it as he would like. But still plenty of reason for Arsenal to feel they can get back in this. Well, they've had 60% of the possession and they've had eight shots to Bayern's two. The problem is that the two Bayern shots have both gone in. Yeah, and they could have had, and probably should have added a third Bayern. I mean, they could have a two-goal cushion. But they haven't. And Arsenal, again, know that they've got the quality, know that they've got, if necessary, changes from the bench to, uh, to have an impact in that second half. Well, we're into the last minute of the schedule, 45 of the first half. There's not going to be too much time added on. Uh, VAR had a quick look at the penalty incident uh, before ratifying the on-field decision. Uh, but neither the medical team has had to come on up to this point. So it's 2-1 on with uh, now 30 seconds to go and a poor ball four from uh, Saliba, missing Ben White. And he goes out of play for a throw that uh, Davis will take. Be in no hurry to take it. 
The fourth official, Adam Ladderback, has uh, got the numbers board in his hand. Way to our left-hand side. And it'll be uh, either one or two, I would imagine. Certainly going to be no more than that. Again, wrestling, trying to get the better of Saliba. And he's won the free kick this time. And Tuchel telling his defensive line to push forward and try and condense the play. With Bayern having this opportunity to get the ball forward from halfway. Yep, grown into the game as the half's gone on, Harry Kane. First 10 or 15 minutes, didn't see a lot of it. And then as Bayern got back in the game with their first goal and ultimately the second goal, he started to hold it up quite well, draw those fouls and just had a little bit more of an influence on proceedings. That's so just a one extra minute. Now we're in it now. With Leroy Sane, the former Manchester City man in possession over on the Bayern right. He's pulled it back through the midfield. It's Goretzka coming forward, back towards Eric Dyer. Dyer with a slightly misplaced ball, but Davis had the uh, pace and the time to be able to come down towards the near touchline and be able to maintain possession. He goes back for Dyer. It's just a question of running the seconds off the clock here. 20 remaining in this first half for Bayern. They play the ball back for Manuel Neuer. Abbott's uh, puts a little bit of pressure on him. He's lofted a ball down towards Alfonso Davis, but Ben White's caught him in possession. Habits close to being offside, but the flag has stayed down for now. And now it comes up. And that will see Bayern in at half time with a 2 1 lead. Yeah. There you go. Half time. Again, the start is so promisingly for Arsenal with the Kaio Saka's 12th minute goal. Within six minutes, Serge Gnabry had equalised. Harry Kane back in North London, scoring from the spot just past the half-hour mark after a foul by Saliba on Leroy Sane, and Arsenal have work to do. Half-time in the first leg, it's Arsenal 1, Bayern Munich 2. Sensational stuff, absolutely brilliant football. They're still playing in Madrid, by the way, Real Madrid 2 and up on Man City, and still playing at the Viva Island nil. England 2, Lionesses 2 nil up. But here at the Emirates, what a fantastic half of football we've witnessed and we've brought to you on Talk Sport. And let's just go through uh, the goals, Andy Townsend. Bukayo Saka got us off to a flyer 12 minutes in. Uh, brilliant finish from him. And I thought then Arsenal were all set up to go on and rack up the goals. It was yeah. a great start. Brilliant start. Perfect start. Bayern actually settled into the, into the game a little better. But once Arsenal picked it up and they got in front, then they look really good. They, they, and particularly with Bukayo Saka, he looked probably the most threatening player on the field at that time. And it's so important now, you get a lead, that you get through that next like 10 minute spell protecting that lead and that you hang on to it. And unfortunately for Arsenal, they didn't. They conceded, they conceded a goal that was totally unnecessary. Really poor decision making. And again, it's in these huge moments, these decisive moments, you make a bad call, you get hurt so badly for it. And I'm afraid David Raya did. Gabriel still could have knocked it 30, 40 yards forward instead of rolling a, a 10 yarder to someone that perhaps wasn't in a great position to receive it. So you get one bad error from the goalie compounded by another from a centre half and all of a sudden it's in the back of your net. You're picking it out. Absolutely. I mean, listen, Arsenal, I think you, you called them naive, I think, uh, in commentary and I think that's spot on. They're not playing Luton now. They're not playing Brighton. Correct. This is Bayern Munich with some top players and they might be lagging behind by Leverkusen by some way, yeah. but they know Champions League football. They know this level and they have made Arsenal's defensive organisation look a shambles at times and Raya coming out, you explain those three errors, there's three errors I saw. Raya coming out, yeah. like virtually to the centre circle, yeah. the Gabriel pass, there's also Goretzka running up past Declan Rice like runs he's not off there. Him. Runs off him. He's a statue. Yeah, What's he, he doing? Well, again, it's, it's because I'd, all of a sudden what happens is you, you have that bit of panic setting. And, is and, that because of Raya coming out so far? Yeah, I guess. Does that set the tone? I, I, I mean, look, ultimately, if, it's, if I'm the manager in there now, I'm saying to me, goalie, listen, if you step out of that 18-yard box, you make sure you are putting your foot through the ball or you are dealing with it. He come running out when... Harry Kane was trying to run past Gabriel. Never going to win that race. Gabriel was five yards in front of him. Stay on the edge of your box. Let your centre-half roll it back to you. Because he's 40 yards off his line, the centre-half then turns out, tries to find somebody else. That gets intercepted. Everyone's backpedalling. Nobody's picking up the runners. 
and you just get done and and, and it was very very unarsenal like and unnecessary yeah and uh, clinical from Bayern Munich and the second one Leroy Sane well they basically waved him through from his own half they did into the box they did and then fouled him I mean it's a, it's a penalty all day long Harry Kane tucks it away so cool but again Arteta will be going mad at them for that second goal yeah, well because I think Leroy Sane when he picked the ball up and he started running he's 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 45 50 yards from goal in the wide area it's about five yards inside Arsenal's half and he starts traveling with the ball from that sort of distance and he goes past one he goes past two he goes past three and then because all of a sudden now he's at full pace running at defenders in the box all of a sudden they don't want to touch him I think Gabriel went to ground and withdrew his leg pulled his leg back as if to say I don't want to make a challenge Jorginho almost did the same eventually Saliba looks like hey, there was there was a slight contact but enough enough to send when him to the ground when you're running at that pace he's going to go down enough and it's never going to get overturned always 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 going to be a penalty and again someone get out and front him up sooner you make you know the clever teams the smart teams in this competition when they see someone like that travelling with the ball somebody bumps him to the ground yep. somebody fouls him outside take, the box yeah. take the yellow card if you have to instead of that they've let him run 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 let him go all the way until no one dare touch him and it's too late and it could have been 3-1 because uh, yeah. it was Ben White who gave the ball away in the in the first place he then races back I mean he's sprinting what a challenge British. Declan Rice said he was going to try and persuade Ben White to come back for England he really needs to be successful in that conversation because that defensive rescue was fantastic from him but before uh, he got in the box um, it was Leroy Sane wasn't it with, with the run Leroy Sane yeah. had a chance for 3-1 but before he got into the box he's run across Odegaard yes. and there was contact he could have gone if he'd have gone down Odegaard's off Odegaard gets a red if he goes down there yeah he didn't he stayed on his feet to his credit because he saw a goal he saw a situation where they, he can put his team 3-1 up um, and he kept going and he kept going and he drifted onto his left foot and he's what eight? 10, 12 yards out, yep. just about to hit it. Ben White from nowhere has made the ground up and gets a stunning block in. A crucial, maybe match-saving block right now when you analyse it. But uh, look, Arsenal have had some joy. They've had their moments in the game. They've looked like they can pick it up in those, in those moments and make something happen. You've got to be so careful. You have to be so assured. And they've not been at their fully focused and sharpest at the back. It's been thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. Live on TalkSport at the Emirates. But Arsenal trail. Arsenal 1, Bayern Munich 2. It's been thrilling in Spain as well. Let's uh, give you the half-time roundup with TalkSport's Jeff Peters. Real Madrid 2, Manchester City 1. And certainly it has been a tie which has lived up to the pre-match billing. It started so well for City. Chouameni was booked for a foul on Grealish after just 40 seconds and will miss the return leg from the free kick. Bernardo Silva swept a cheeky low 25-yard effort around the wall. Lunin did get a hand to it. Real scored twice in quick succession just before the quarter-hour mark to turn things around. First, Eduardo Camavinga let fly from distance, took a wit wicked deflection off Ruben Diaz to wrongfoot Ortega. And then Vinicius Jr. fed Rodrigo, who raced into the city box, took a moment before poking goalwards. It clipped to Kanji's heel, and that deflection trickled beyond Ortega and over the line. Both sides teased and uh, tested each other in a, a scintillating contest. Erling Haaland, though, has been tightly marshalled by Antonio Rudiger. Some game this. Half-time, Real Madrid 2, Manchester City 1. In League 2, Akron to take the lead at Newport in the second half. Tommy Lee with the goal. Half-time at Ellen Road. Mark Wilson. Yeah, Leeds nil. Sunderland nil. Leeds dominating in terms of uh, possession and territory. 72% for them, but yet to hit the target with a shot on goal. Somerville did have a shot deflected wide. Looked like it came off Ballard's arm. Ballard, who is in the book, he's had a running battle with Patrick Bamford. He's flattened him twice. He got booked and he's been spoken to there after Ballard walking the tightrope. Uh, Bamford did go around the keeper end of the half but drilled his cross uh, across the face of goal. Nobody had the chance to get it in. At the other end, Jack Clark, the former Leeds man, has had two shots on target that Melier has done well to save. Bit nervy at Ellen Road, it's fair to say. Sunderland more than holding their own here. It's Leeds nil, Sunderland nil. Uh, we'll keep you across all the other games as well. The Lioness is still 2 0 up in Dublin against Ireland in that Euro qualifier. It's kick off on Talk Sport with Labrooks. We play together. Terms and conditions apply 18 plus. Be gambleaware.org. Kick off on Talk Sport with Labrooks. We play together. Terms and conditions apply 18 plus. Be gambleaware.org. Spring is here. 
Yeah, now let's grab it by the thorns. We've been springing for 159 years, and we've got all you need to lock larger, mow mightier, and dig deeper. 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 So come rain, come shine, come on. Let's spring like we've never sprung before. Nurture nature this season with all the gardening essentials you need. Dobby's Woodbridge. Spring's our thing. MGM Sports and Casino. We know things aren't always golden. That's why we offer you the tools to keep your place safe. Set timeouts to always ensure you take a break when you feel like you need it. Set reality checks so you know exactly how long you've been playing. And set deposit limits to help control what you spend. Stay golden with Bet MGM. Play responsibly. 18 plus. And here's Rory McIlroy on the 18th at Augusta. And here it goes. Surely not. Things are worth shouting about. Watch all four days of the Masters starting the 11th of April exclusively live on Sky Sports. Get all of Sky Sports for £22 extra a month. See sky.com for details. New 18 month contract Sky TV required. Further terms apply. Here we are, another train delay, not a problem for Claire. Phone in hand, ready to play the free coral rewards grabber. Loose wrist, firm grip, textbook. Oh, look at this. She's won herself 50 coral coins for free. But now, what to spend them on? Free spins or a casino bonus? And... Oh, she's gone with free spins. Ooh. Lovely choice, Claire. Cash in coral coins for free to choose rewards you actually want. Coral, we're here for it. 18 plus UK. Participate in selected promos to get coral coins. Coins expire. T's and C's apply. Take time to think. Imagine delicious crispy chicken McNuggets. Go on, picture them now. Imagine if you could get six of them for just $2.49. How about nine for just $3.49? Or 20 of them for just $4.49? Woohoo! Well, now you can. But not for long. Get yours by the 16th of April. <laughs> From 11 a.m. until 16th of April in store and via delivery. Delivery price, uplift, and fees apply. Subject to availability. Price of participation may vary. Businesses across the land. Whatever kind of business you're in. BT's got your back. We're talking small business, big business, new business, old business. Top secret business? Well, that's your business. But yes, global business, serious business, family business. What about show business? Yes, all the businesses. So whatever your business, let us take care of business with our secure and reliable connectivity. BT's got your back. Search BT's got your back. Bet UK have got some mad offers. Buy like what? Free bets? Yeah, man. £30 in free bets when you bet £10. You're joking. Really? Yep. And even with a free bet, I still wouldn't back your team. Oh, whatever, mate. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you think, visit betuk.com or download the app to get your £30 in free bets. Bet UK, it's where the UK bets. New customers only, £10 minimum bet. Minimum odds and T and C supply, 18 plus. Please gamble responsibly. Champions League Live on Talk Sport with Village Hotels. With 33 locations across the UK, Village Hotels have everything under one roof for a great breakaway. On 1089 and 1053 medium wave, on DAB, on the app, on your smart speaker. Supersize your April with over 50 games of live football. Talk Sport. Well, stunning live Champions League football on the TalkSport network tonight. Let's get the halftime odds with Labrooks. Odds update on TalkSport with Labrooks. We play together. Terms and conditions apply. 18 plus be gambler.org. So here, Arsenal trail Bayern 2-1. The Gunners are 14 to 5 to win the match. Bayern are 11 to 10. The draw 19 to 10. Over on TalkSport 2, Real Madrid lead Man City 2-1. Los Blancos are 7 to 4 on to win this first leg. City are 11 to 2. The draw is 5 to 2. That's the latest odds with Labrooks. 18 plus. Be gambler aware. Org. Odds update on TalkSport with Ladbrokes. We play together. Terms and conditions apply. 18 plus, be gambler.org. 
Well, let's take you round the grounds in the second half in the championship to the den first of all. Talk sports Ian Abrams. 53 gone, Millwall nil, Leicester nil, and really, really mediocre game. Both sides need to win it. You wouldn't guess it from watching the empty fair 53 minutes. Millwall nil, Leicester nil. Saints still in control against Coventry of St Mary's Jay Robson. To Coventry nil, 55 on the clock, very much so. Ed. The only action we've had in the first, second half has been a lengthy injury delay to Van Ewick. He's gone off. Tavares replaces him. Southampton cruising. Southampton 2, Coventry 0. Lioness is on course for victory at the Aviva. Baker others. 73 minutes played. Ireland 0, England 2. They're in control, the Lionesses, but not created much in the second half. Beth Mead and Frank Kirby on to create some more creativity and put this game to bed. Ireland 0, England 2. Uh, you're listening to Arsenal Bayern Munich in the Champions League on Talk Sports, supported by TNT Sports. And don't forget, you can watch tonight's game and all the Champions League games live only on TNT Sports. More goals have been going in. Harrogate League, Grimsby 1-0 in League 2. Preston have equalised at home to Huddersfield. 1-1, a penalty from Will Keane. Huddersfield in relegation danger. Preston's playoff hopes are fading fast. Scotland's women have taken the lead against Slovakia in their European qualifiers. Sophie Howard just past the hour mark. Scotland 1, Slovakia 0. Stevenage equalised through Jamie Reid at home to Barnsley. They've now gone in front. Dan Butler, the left back with a goal. Stevenage 2. Barnsley 1 and just to update you on all the championship scores Millwall goalless with Leicester Plymouth 0 QPR 0 Preston 1 Huddersfield 1 Norwich are 2-0 up at Sheffield Wednesday it's Southampton 2 Coventry 0 and Leeds 0 Sunderland 0 in League 1 Blackpool 1 Fleetwood 0 Reading 2 up at Bristol Rovers Charlton lead Wigan 1-0 for a Charlie Hughes own goal Cheltenham 0 Carlisle 1 Lane Orient 1 Exeter 0 Stevenage 2 Barnsley 1 and in League 2, Barrow Dollars with South End, Colchester uh, 1, Stockport 1, Doncaster 1 up, Harrogate 1 up, Mansfield 1 up, Newport 1, Accrington 2, Wrexham 2, Crawley 0. As Bayern Munich make their way out to join the Arsenal players on the pitch for the second half, the Germans lead by two goals to one, and of course, Harry Kane has scored, but this one isn't over. First leg's not over and the tie definitely isn't over. Let's get second half live on Talk Sport with the former Ireland captain Andy Townsend alongside Jim Proudfoot. Well, it's a uh, half that's going to start with the most flamboyant high five I've ever seen from a pair of assistant referees. I don't know whether you caught that. They came out of the tussle. The most extraordinary thing I've seen all night. And the bar's pretty high. Arsenal <laughs> making a change. Zinchenko on for Kivior at left back, Andy. Yeah. He struggled a little bit and we saw replays of the goals at half time on our monitors here. And Kivior again let Lee Rosane get away from him for that all important penalty decision as well. And I think Mikel Arteta looking for more with, with his Arsenal boys with the ball at their feet. And Zinchenko certainly has more to offer in that respect. Uh, so we're back underway. Arsenal in the famous red and white. And they're kicking from right to left in this second half. Bayern Munich in possession their change kit of black with very light blue trim working it forward inside the penalty area but behind both Musiala and Kane straight through for Raya balls it out for Jorginho Gnabry thought he might be able to pinch it for a moment but he couldn't Arsenal on the front foot quickly get it with Kai Havertz out towards the right hand side for Ben White who was guilty of a poor miss in the first half but undoubtedly a game saving tackle after that which uh, stopped by going 3-1 up it was a quite brilliant challenge on Leroy Sane as he made his way forward and it's uh, been a mixed bag of the night yeah. uh, Ben White sums it up really it, it, it has been a mixed bag you know Adrian and I just looked at those goals Jim they conceded Arsenal if that's Real Madrid with Sergio Ramos and Pepe they drag people to the ground they knock them to the floor they concede a free kick on the halfway line Arsenal Declan Rice had a chance to drag Goretzka down or to foul him to stop him from running into the box he didn't do it they allow him to feed the ball to Gnabry who knocks it in the back of the net and then Kivio had the chance to foul uh, Leroy Sane didn't do it Jorginho had the chance Gabriel had a chance to make a tackle and all of a sudden the ball ends up on the spot and in the back of your net and that's what happens and I think it's these split second decisions these decisive moments in the game tonight that Arsenal have left themselves I think, I think they'll be disappointed. They've been found wanting a little bit. Well, that was Harry Kane's 39th goal of the season. Seven of those have come in the Champions League. He is the competition's leading scorer. Saliva 
Plays it out towards the Arsenal right over on the far touchline. Opportunity for Havertz to deliver deep towards the far post. Martinelli is headed back across the edge of the six-yard box, but now the offside flag comes up. I'll tell you what, great ball in the box. I think Kai Havertz might have been just in an offside position, but lovely flighted cross to the back post where Martinelli was waiting. And Joshua Kimmich isn't the tallest of players. You can, we were just looking there to see, yeah, it's the right call. Kai Havertz just offside, clips the ball up. That's better from Arsenal. Numbers in the box, numbers arriving. Harry Kane's been brought down now on halfway. Well, it's been a, an ongoing battle between him and uh, principally Gabriel. Sometimes it's Saliba, but it's, it's Gabriel more often than not. Harry Kane got the better of the latest instalment of him. Bayern aiming to reach the last four for the eighth season out of 13, but they have been seen off at this stage in each of the last three years by PSG, Villarreal and Manchester City as well. Arsenal hoping to make it through for just the third time in their history. Ball out of play for a Bayern throw. Deadlock broken at the den. Ian Abraham. Get this. Millwall won. Leicester nil. And Ryan Longman has absolutely fired one in from 25 yards. No chance for the keeper as it arrowed into the top corner. Millwall won. Leicester the leaders nil. And Leeds still being held at home by Sunderland. So both games stay that way. It'll be Leicester 88 from 41. Ipswich 87 from 41. Leeds 87 from 42. And Southampton, 78 from 40. We'll feel that they're not out of it if the two sides in the top three playing tonight don't win. Well, Southampton surely are going to have to be foot perfect for the remainder of the season if they are to retain a hope of going up automatically. Zinchenko's got possession four minutes into the second half. You hit TalkSport. Arsenal led, but now trail. Same story for Manchester City over on TalkSport 2. 2-1 to buy him, but here's Martinelli towards the edge of the area Rodegaard with a little step over Ben White pulls it back Zinchenko coming forward now blonde-haired Ukrainian flooding it forward Rice clipping it down towards Martinelli Rice then losing out towards Goretzka and Sane with an opportunity to bring it away instead has given it away and Declan Rice will take it down towards the corner flag he just very carefully and cleverly stopped his run yeah. He knew that Sane was in behind him. So as soon as he broke his own stride, the collision was inevitable. It's a free kick. Very smart. Surrounded by Bayern shirts there, Declan Rice, running towards the corner flag. And you're right, he sort of put the brakes on and Leroy Sane just run into the back of him, clipped his heels, down he goes. Chance for an Arsenal free kick to get whipped in towards that area between penalty spot and six-yard line. Uh, two of the top three meeting in the National League, incidentally, tonight. Barnett lead that. 1-0 at home to Bromley. It's a free kick which will be taken on the Arsenal left. Havertz will just vacate the scene. So many of the left wing set pieces are taken by Declan Rice these days and this one will be no exception. So Arsenal got Erdegaard waiting pretty much unmarked on the edge of the penalty area. Zinchenko and Saka too. Bayern have got one outside in the wall. Everyone else back. He's gone for goal and he's just put it onto the roof of the net. And I yeah. say he's gone for goal. Might have been a miss hit cross. It was. He just hit it too big. He's tried to whip it towards Manuel Neuer, who's standing in the middle of the goal, but he wants to hit it flatter than that and allow his teammates to run across the front of it and give the goalie a problem, but he just gets too much air on that one and it sails harmlessly over the bar. Well, for a goal kick that Eric Dyer has taken. He's gone back for Neuer, back to Dyer again, not the best ball out from him. And Declan Rice has won it back. Rice now towards Saliba. Buzz of expectation whenever Arsenal can force an error out of their Bayern counterparts. Bayern have won each of the last three meetings between these two sides. And the fans won't need any aid memoir that they were all 5-1 defeats. Arsenal have given a better account of themselves tonight, but still trail. Martinelli making his way forward. Put out of play by Kimmich. It's a throw that the Gunners will take down by the corner flag, and Zinchenko's gone down there to take it in front of the substitutes from both sides who are warming up just down towards that corner flag. He's got a, a huge amount of room to play with. He's not got a huge amount of options either, which is why he's just delaying taking this throw. Waiting for a bit of movement. Rice can provide that. Back he goes for Zinchenko now. Still Arsenal trailing 2-1 here on TalkSport. And Manchester City in the same boat in Spain over on TalkSport 2. Zinchenko, oh, that's not what was needed. Straight ball, clip forward. Rice stood no chance of getting on that. Yeah. Just a little bit too ambitious, that one from Zinchenko. Just forcing it a little... 
But look, he wants to get on the board. He's, he, will, he will no doubt provide a lot more for Arsenal in that respect. How he comes with Leroy Zane when they lose possession is a completely different matter. Bayern playing out. Kimmich down towards Goretzka. Leroy Sane. Sane worked through the midfield. Now Arsenal are going to be able to bring it away with Saliba who can just stride forward into the feet of Havertz. Havertz running straight at Lima, which wasn't his intention. And well, as he turned and made his way forward, Lima was there as an Austrian brick wall to stop him getting any further. Arsenal have maintained the ball though, with Zinchenko finding Saliba. They had a, a stack of chances in the first half. I say stack, they had eight in all compared to Bayern's two, but aside from the goal and the Ben White miss, there weren't too many real clear-cut opportunities no. that Arsenal were able to fashion, and that's something that does need improving. Bayern, on the other hand, scored with both of their shots. And now with Musiala trying to get Nabry away, who might have been offside. Arsenal won it back on halfway and will bring it forward with White. Here's Saka. Saka in field towards Erdegaard. Eight minutes of the second half have raced by. Nope. Neither goalkeeper's had anything to do so far. Jorginho to Erdegaard again. Ben White. Havertz. Clip back over the top for White. Goes out of play. And clearly, they're playing against the side who are immensely good at what they do. Yes. But it has been a substandard Arsenal performance tonight in many ways. What do you put that I, down to? Well, I, well, I, I think, listen, the enormity of, this, of the, uh, the situation, we've got to give Bayern credit for the way that they punished Arsenal viciously for the mistakes that they made. Long way to go yet. Long way to go. They've just got to keep believing. They've got to keep where they are now. They're up on the halfway line. They're asking the questions at the moment. Bayern lying very much in wait. That's the worry. Another goal. They, if Arsenal can see another one here, well, then the tie is in jeopardy. Everything's in jeopardy. So they've got to be very careful and very measured about how they go about it. It's not just a case yet of going crazy. They've got to make sure that they've got everything boxed off at the back should they concede possession should someone make a mistake well, Bayern on the back foot here with Zinchenko bring it forward for Arsenal left footed ball clipped inside the penalty area cleared from the spot by Eric Dyer. and then Kane has he been a little bit too over exuberant he has he gets a yellow card because as he was protecting the space as the ball came to meet him and Gabriel, he's been deemed by the referee to swing an arm round. I don't think he's caught Gabriel in the face with an elbow. Just had a little look to see where he was. And he has actually caught him right what? underneath the chin. Yeah. And the VAR might have a look at that. He has a little look. He doesn't throw the elbow. He just lifts his arms. And Gabriel, because he wants to get so close all the time, invariably ends up copping for one in the face there. Harry Kane knows full well what he's doing, but he's not thrown it in and out of order fashion or in a you know in, in, he's not had a look at him and really thrown it to seriously hurt him he's just raised his arms knowing full well Gabriel is coming he's going to march into it he has a look no doubt about it well it's Alan Brazil and Ali McCoy tomorrow from 6am on TalkSport Breakfast they'll be looking back at this game also at Manchester City's match in Madrid David O'Leary Noel Gallagher amongst the names joining Big Al and Ali tomorrow another EFL goal down in Hampshire Jake Robson and it's 68 minutes on the clock it's Southampton 2 Coventry 1 Bidwell with the finish neatly crossed by Tavares and Coventry back in it Southampton 2 Coventry 1 uh, stop ball of retaking the lead at Colchester Paddy Madden scoring that goal it's his 19th of the season remember they're up if they win tonight and Mansfield lose at home to Forest Green we're going to equalise at Charlton in League 1 so yellow card for Kane, Gabriel's back on his feet, Erdegaard taking the free kick, swung inside the penalty area, scuffed back in by Ben White and then cleared. In a break for Jorginho, he will turn it back for Erdegaard who took the free kick and that's why he was just for a moment the deepest of Arsenal's outfield players. It's gone back to Zinchenko, 11 minutes into the second half here on TalkSport and still Arsenal trailing 2-1, it's been the way of it for the last 25 minutes. Goretzka playing it forward, it's almost inexplicably found his way through towards Harry Kane through a forest of legs. He works it out towards the left for Serge Gnabry, Gnabry making his way forward towards the edge of the area, Musiala for Goretzka, Goretzka oh. and wide. Oh, Gabriel Martelli missed the challenge there on the edge of the box and it fell invitingly for Leon Goretzka who should hit the target. It's actually a poor strike from the edge of the box. Plenty of time. He just drags it wide of David Raya's right-hand post. Well wide, two or three yards wide when 
very minimum there he should be hitting the target not necessarily a man the Bayern would expect to be able to call upon for a Champions League goal he's scored in only one of his last 27 ties in the competition should have done better there Lima will bring it forward now for Bayern and he can make 30 yards or so Sane was expecting the ball to be popped back at a slightly different angle than it was but Kimmich herring forward down the right hand touchline stopped it going out of play so Bayern have been able to maintain the ball Goretzka going out of the left for Serge Gnabry Gnabry coming in off that left hand touchline works it back for Alfonso Davis the Canadian international one of the quickest around back for De Ligt. nice ball from here Sane controlling it on the left hand touchline Zinchenko's done well to win it back to block challenge took on moaning again Sane's gone down play goes on assistant referee had a very good view of it was Happy that there was nothing under Ward with the challenge from Zinchenko. Upfield, Saka can bring it forward. Sane's back on his feet and able to come back into position. And Arsenal couldn't make the most of the temporary numerical advantage that they had. They lost possession. Now they win it back and Saka is brought down by Lima. And that'll be a free kick in a promising position. It's about seven or eight yards outside the penalty area right of centre. 2-1 to Bayern Munich, but it's a chance for Arsenal to get back into it. Yep. Shooting distance, Bukayo Saka, no surprises, it's him who drifts infield off the right side. And Lima it is who's chasing back, bit of a desperate challenge. But again, brings him to the ground before he can hit them, before he can really get across the ground, get to the edge of the box. That's what Arsenal should have done, that's exactly what I mean in the first half. They didn't do that. Bayern there, as soon as they sense that Saka might be going towards the edge of the box, someone hits him, someone brings him to the floor. Pick him up, you get away with it. Wigan 2 1 up at Charlton in League 1. In League 2, crew lead at Morgan 1 0. Accrington 3 1 up at Newport. And back in League 1, Orient have doubled their lead at Hondo Exeter. A minute short of the hour mark here on Talk Sport. Over on Talk Sport 2, it remains Real Madrid 2, Manchester City 1. How far is this one, Jim? What are we talking this free kick? Well, Martin Odegaard is over it with Kai Havertz. It's a fair way out. 30 yards? Yeah, well, we'll probably spot on 30 I would say because the wall is just a step outside the penalty yeah, area yeah it is and Erdegaard fancying his chances Havertz oh. makes a run forward and Erdegaard just tried to chip it into the path of Havertz who just made a, a nonchalant stride forward away from the ball and then really broke sweat to get him past the wall Erdegaard tried to clip it over the wall for him missed him and it goes through for Norwich a chance wasted bit of a waste that Look, nothing wrong with trying something different. But in this situation, take your time. Use these free kicks you get wisely. Harry Kane has done well. He's dropped short in the midfield and swivels and hits one down towards Sane. Arsenal on the back foot for a moment. Zinchenko's got to make sure that he doesn't dive in. And what he did was hold Sane up and he allowed Martinelli to come back and make the challenge. And then Rice and Gabriel between them can get it away. Havertz is the out ball. Couldn't get there. And the lick just lets it run back for Dyer. And there's just a little bit of nervousness and tension beginning to permeate yeah. now around the Arsenal supporters. Just seeing Thomas Tuchel, he's talking to Kingsley Coman. Leroy Sane in front of us, been holding his groin a little bit. Might be a change in the offing. Here's Goretzka. He must have been close to being offside. He's taken it down towards the dead ball line. He's got Kimmich in support for him. Now Kimmich working it down the right hand side of the penalty area Musiala no flag against him either and Musiala just lending it with his right foot to his left Jorginho wasn't deceived oh he's given it away right footed effort skied over the bar by Lima yeah chance Jorginho trying a 20 yard ball infield Lima saw it a mile off intercepted it but the shot was a poor one Deadlock broken in, the big game down at the bottom of the championship. Plymouth nil, Queen's Park Rangers won. Sam Field, QPR win that tonight. They're all but safe, you would think. Certainly great momentum. Uh, the run that they've had under Sifuentes, that'll be a six win in ten if they hold on. Uh, down in, in Southwest Devon tonight. 1-0 QPR leading at Plymouth, and uh, it would put the Pilgrims in the spot above her. Jorginho getting it forward, here's Erdegaard, Erdegaard taking it on towards the edge of the box, lays it off Martinelli, right footed effort, nice shape on it, uh, but De Ligt saw it every step of the way, uh, got his legs in the way of the shot and knocked it clear, Saliba, again no foul, again more animation on the Bayern bench, they are kicking every ball and more, Erdegaard, Saliba is over there, 
Uh, putting pressure on the retreating Davis. Real intensity about the press from Arsenal there. Dyer slams it to safety, just trying to get it out of harm's way. And the Arsenal fans liking that, really infused by that passage of play. Jorginho brings it forward again. There is this sense, and I mentioned it in the first half when Arsenal went 1 0 up, that the, the German press were telling us that Bayern haven't exactly exuded character in their recent games, but a sense you can get at them. Saka chipping it in here, and that's claimed by Neuer. We haven't seen that so far, but you've got to no. remember. This is a side that were tuning up away to Heidenheim at the weekend and lost. And so lost it, yep. If well, Arsenal can equalise, you just never know. Oh no, look, again, you keep going right to the last. And if you have to take where we are right now, then Arsenal still have an opportunity to go through in that second leg. Not going to be easy. It's not ideal. But what they mustn't do here is, is concede again. They've got to be so careful. They're pushing, they're squeezing, they're pressing but they haven't quite created that outstanding chance yet. Hopefully that's going to come. I think Chenko's done well. Sane waiting for the ball to get to him. Zinchenko prodded it away. Martinelli's got it on the edge of the D. Erdegaard, always a hive of energy. Coming back, dropping short, picking up possession, working the angles, computing everything in an instant. Tuchel not happy, wants to make a change. Ball threaded through, through by Zinchenko. Referee says no foul on Havertz. Waves him back to his feet. Tended to, he, he sort of hit the floor almost a split second after contact was made there, Kai Havertz. There might have been a touch. I think there was a definite contact on him. The referee immediately said, no, I'm not having that. It's actually De Ligt who's kind of just steps on his foot and it's not enough to, uh, to bring him, I don't think, to the floor. He's fishing a leg himself a little bit there, Kai Havertz, feeling for De Ligt. Feels a bit of contact, down he goes, not getting it. Uh, now Harry Kane has had a free kick go against him. He had Zinchenko coming to make a challenge from behind him. And Harry Kane fell over, felt the contact from Zinchenko, fell over, stopped an Arsenal player playing the ball, free kick given against him for obstruction. Arsenal then work it forward, De Ligt steams in and gets the ball away from Martinelli. Good challenge. And it goes out of play for a throw, wasn't it just perfectly Great timed? challenge, yeah. Now to cover a lot of ground to get there. Now we'll be off to Dublin in a moment where England's women have won tonight. And we'll get full-time details from Faye in a moment. First of all, this throw on the Arsenal left-hand side. Zinchenko's about 10 yards from the corner flag. Gunners 20 minutes into the second half, pressing for an equaliser. Erdegaard couldn't get on the end of the throw. Sane trying to bring it away. A good little one-two. Arsenal again defending really high. They didn't have an outfield player inside their own half. Gnabry very quickly attacking the space. Ben White back there with him. And the effort is fired over. Let's get full-time details then from the Aviva. Here's Faker others. Island nil, England two. Alex Greenwood scored one and missed another from the penalty spot after Lauren James had opened the scoring in the first half. England were on the ropes in the final 10 minutes but clung on despite some dodgy defending. Three points for the Lionesses mean they go second in their qualifying group. It finished Island nil, England two. Uh, Faye, thank you. Uh, Bayern are going to make a change. And Leroy Sane is the player coming off and Kingsley Coleman is going to come on. Coleman who scored the winner. In the 2020 final against PSG's hometown club, has been struggling with a knee problem. He's only got one goal in his last 13 games, which was the winner at Old Trafford in the uh, group stage. Certainly a player that knows where the net is. 60 goals in his Bayern Munich career. So he's on. Arsenal are going to rotate the pack as well, because we're going to see Trossard and Jesus come on. And it's Martinelli and Jorginho who are going off. Yeah, I think it's the right time for some fresh legs and that can often just give you something else. Gabriel Jesus entering the fray. He's going out onto that right-hand side, Leandro Trossard off the left, which leaving Kai Havertz. Oh, actually, Kai Havertz and Gabriel Jesus up the middle with Bakao Saka and Trossard operating in the wide areas. Yeah, so Erdegaard's going to come... Uh, A little deeper now with Declan Rice, yeah. correct. But they're that... Just means they're that extra man short in there. Jesus will drop in and fill a hole if he has to, but they're not going to have quite that stability in front of that Arsenal back four now. As so they brought Trotard on, who scored the goal here that booked the penalty shootout last time against Porto, the winner on the night in that round of 16 second leg that we brought you here on Talk Sport. 
And here's Gabby Jesus. Jesus scored his first four Champions League ties this season down on the byline. Comes back through the penalty. Yeah, sets up Declan Rice. Right for an effort from him. He's blocked. Now the change will certainly leave Arsenal more susceptible to a counter-attack. And they've looked pretty susceptible to them anyway. Yeah, but on this occasion, and the Gunners able to win the ball back on halfway and, and negate any by oh. threat. And then Neuer took his time and more, but he just got it away. Arsenal now on the back foot. Kingsley Coman motoring forward. Coman thought about a shot, pulls it back. Well disguised. Kimmich now. Harry Kane towards the edge of the D. Right footed, tries to clip one. And it took a little nick on its way through. Pass Ryan's far post. Now for Bayern's first corner of the night. Yeah, as soon as Harry Kane received that, he's about 20, 22 yards out, right in the middle of the goal. Um, and he just drops it onto his right foot, tries to squeeze that shot inside. David Ryan's right-hand post doesn't get there, but a little deflection along the way. Off Declan Rice sends it out for a corner in no rush to take it here, Bayern. Well, in no rush to take it because uh, one of their number, who's uh, obscure from our view, is uh, down in need of treatment. So just past the midway stage of this second half. Arsenal 1, Bayern Munich 2. Let's find out what's going on in that game in Spain. Real Madrid against Manchester City. It's TalkSports' Jeff Peters. Real Madrid still leading by two goals to one. Bellingham and Vinicius Jr. with efforts in this second half. For Manchester City, Rodri, Foden and Silva with efforts. But it remains 2-1 to Real Madrid. Uh, Gnabry is the uh, player that is down hurt. Uh, it will give us the opportunity to find out what's going on in the championship games. Let's go to Ellen Road. Leeds Sunderland, Mark Wilson. Leeds nil, Sunderland nil. Leeds just had a chance, uh, but it was uh, James bundled over in the box. Referee waved it away. Looked like it could have been a penalty. Still nil nil. Uh, to the leaders, Leicester and Millwall, Ian Abrahams. Millwall 1, Leicester 0 with just over 10 to go. Goal scored by Ryan Longman and Millwall have had the better chances since. It's still Millwall 1, Leicester 0. Now Southampton look comfortable but a bit of jeopardy now. St Mary's, Jake Robson. Still in front, Southampton 2, Coventry 1. The home side taking the lead in the first half, doubling it before half time. Coventry hitting back midway through the second. Southampton 2, Coventry 1. And another goal of the Bernabeu, Jeff Peters. It's M Manchester City levelling things up here. 66 gone. Phil Foden, what a goal. Edge of the penalty area, left-footed, top corner. It is a sensational strike from Foden, and it's Real Madrid 2, Manchester City 2. A sensational strike oh, what a goal. from a sensational player. What Phil Foden having the season of his life. I probably should say having the season of his life so far. Yeah. 22nd goal of the campaign and it's dead level there at 2-2 Arsenal looking for an equaliser here but they've got a corner to defend first it's Bayern's first of the night the Gnabry's gone off incidentally which more in a moment in comes the corner now that's easily bonded away by Kai Havertz it's Guerrero yeah. who's come on to replace him yeah it's a problem for Tuchel because he's just made the, the change in the wide area with Sane going off and Coman coming on and then literally within a minute or two Serge Gnabry's gone down and not recovered from that so he's brought Guerrero on which again isn't quite so ambitious doesn't need to be it's with the last period in this game in mind that to make sure that Bayern leave with what they currently have yeah full back by Trey but very effective uh, playing just one step further down the line on the left hand side an extra little bit of uh, defensive cover before the likes of Davis up against uh, Bakayo Saka we're in the final 20 minutes and it's still 2-1 to Bayern Munich and Schenk oh he's missed his header but Offside flags up against Kingsley Coman in behind him. Oof, and it's a free kick to Arsenal. And elsewhere, Bromley have equalised at Barnett. 1-1 in the National League. Preston 2, Huddersfield 1, Osmiech. Plymouth have equalised at home to QPR. Albert Adoma putting through his own net in that big game down at the bottom of the championship in the bottom eight. Here's Kai Havertz bringing it forward here. Player with a half decent record when he was playing for Leverkusen against Bayern Munich. Trossard, Gabriel Jesus can turn. Can he work the angle? And he's sprayed it out towards the right hand side here for Saka. Bayern with everybody back. Saka clipping it in, left footed. It's headed away by the licked inside the penalty area. Zinchenko did well to react, got there ahead of Coman and has kept it alive. He's pulled it back for Trossard. Neat turn from here. Away from Kimmich. Back towards Gabriel. Arteta furious, not with a decision, but with his players. He's really trying to get his message across very vociferously at the moment. Zinchenko has it again. Zinchenko, left-footed straight ball over the top. And 
That's far too easy for Kimmich to be able to, to defend. It. Zinchenko trying to force it too often. And he's getting on the ball and he's looking up. Just keep it moving. Keep shifting it around and wait for a better picture to appear in front of you. But it's always admirable that he wants to make something happen, but he keeps giving the ball away at the minute. Yeah. Sheffield Wednesday they've been in the bottom three of the championship all season they could get out tonight they've equalised the home and Norwich through Michael Smith as Wednesday look for a, a late winner there for what will be their seventh win in 12 games Wrexham a four up in League Two they're set for automatic promotion Charlton have equalised at home to Wigan through uh, Chuck Zaniki that's 2-2 two -two. what Arsenal will give for a, an equaliser to make this one 2-2 two -two. 18 minutes to go Jesus, who's got a sparkling Champions League record, 24 in 44 Champions League ties in his career. Now to get the ball in the midfield and then work it back towards Saka, who supplies him with the return ball, but a lot of the neat, intricate passing football from Arsenal's failing to come off. And now the referee is a Bayern player goes down on the far side to stop play. As he, uh, I don't think he's going to have a word with Gabriel Jesus, but he's going to be obliged to go across and see what the uh, severity of this problem is for Eric Dyer. Yeah, it's Eric Dyer. He actually catches one in the face from, inadvertently from, there, from, from Jesus. Oh, yeah, or from his own player. You're right, Jim. In that challenge, he does catch one to be fair to him in the face and again goes down. But wisely, they use that moment to just reorganise. And this is all part of the business in Champions League football. You know, it really is. It's it's about when you have to take the sting out of the game, when you have to use your brain and your loaf you do and they've done that quite wisely tonight by him when they've gone down they stay down and they get the, the referee to stop the game and there are 16 minutes to go you're listening to Arsenal against Bayern Munich in the Champions League on Talk Sport supported by TNT Sports don't forget you can watch tonight's game and all of the Champions League games live only on TNT Sports and another goal of the Bernabeu, Jeff Peters. Manchester City are back in front. They lead Real Madrid by three goals to two. It's Guardiol that has scored it. This game is twisting and turning. What a strike from Guardiol just outside the penalty area. Wow. Real Madrid two, Man City three. And I think I'm right in saying that Josko Guardiol's last goal was in the Champions League against Manchester City. But his first for his new club makes it 3-2 to City in Spain it's life here right now on Talk Sport 2 and if they could take a first leg advantage back to the Etihad that would be enormous oh, it's hell of a strike as well I've got it we've just seen it on the monitors here with us what a strike from Guardiola some game that can Arsenal find a bit of that in what's left of the game here they've just been pushing really hard working ever so hard but it's just failing at the, at the, at the final pass that most important point not too many signs that Bayern are creaking, but think back to a number of late goals that Arsenal have scored this season of such significance. Late on in games, being able to turn draws into victories. Think of Haddertz at Brentford, think of Declan Rice at Luton, think yep. of the, the late one that they scored here against Brentford. Those just three that immediately spring to mind, and many more than that. 15 to go, Arsenal. Leaving it late again, led by a golden hill through Bakayo Saka on 12 minutes. 20 minutes later, they were trailing. So Gnabry with an equaliser. Harry Kane from the spot, giving Bayern a 2-1 lead. Here come the Gunners to around the edge of the area. Trossard! Yes! Get him! There is the equalising goal. It's Leandro Trossard again. The hero against Porto. And one of the heroes tonight as Arsenal tie it up at two apiece off the bench and on the score sheet he's developed such a happy knack of doing exactly that Arsenal level and now they will feel that they have an almighty chance of being able to go on and win this and take a first leg advantage to Bavaria what a great finish he's got a knack this boy hasn't he of supplying the finishing touch Gabriel Jesus does great could have took the shot draws a few of those Bayern defenders right to him in the box and then rolls it square to his mate and says go on hit that target please hit that target and he just strokes it guides it side foots it beyond Manuel Neuer to get Arsenal back level pegging what a finish what a substitution came off the bench to score against Brighton on Saturday 
It might have been a slightly muted celebration with respect to his former employer then. It wasn't here tonight. He went mad. It's two apiece. And Bayern might be there for the taking now. Dyer comes across, gets it away from White. But when you're on the kind of run the Bayern have, when they've conceded goals, when they've lost leads, all of a sudden they will be feeling it. And the question marks will be there. Remember, two up against Heidenheim at the weekend. Newly promoted side who beat them 3-2. Can Arsenal come back from 2-1 down and turn it around just like Manchester City have done in Madrid live on TalkSport 2? 2-2 two, two, with 12 minutes plus probably four or five of stoppage time to go. Yeah. They've had to work hard, Arsenal. They've, without being at their exhilarating best, they've just kept chipping away, nagging away at Bayern. Berdegaard. Retreating Kane is back there to win it. And the free kick has gone Bayern's way. And I suppose it's the statistical nerd in me. Great night for the UEFA coefficient, the way things are standing as well. This is a really good pair of scorelines for Tottenham and for Villa, yeah. who will be looking at fifth and the potential for that to be a Champions League place. And the difference between Arsenal going through or going out in the quarters against German opposition is absolutely monumental for that. But that's a debate for another day. And here and now, 11 minutes to go in this first leg. It's two apiece. And uh, the ball goes back to Manuel Neuer. Neuer playing it out of the penalty area, out towards the left-hand side. Rice was in strongly on Musiala. The German international, former Southampton Academy graduate. He's beat to it. And the noise is deafening. You can't hear yourself think. Sure that that is coming across for you here on Talk Sport. 16,000 raucous North Londoners trying to cheer their side home. But Bayern have turned it over on halfway and they've got the chance to bring it forward. There'll be a deathly silence around the stadium if Bayern can score from this. Arsenal, to their credit, have got the shake back very quickly off the ball. It's played back now towards halfway for Dyer. And Arsenal defended it quickly. They uh, made sure that any chance of a Bayern counter attack evaporated. Play for Bundelicht. Long haired Dutchman, four action Juventus player. Through the Lima. Down towards Dyer again. Played four by him towards Musiala. Now Dyer will work it out towards the left hand side for Davis. Back for Dyer. Fine, just happy to get a foothold back in the game because the 10 minutes that led up to the Arsenal equaliser were probably the Gunners' best 10 of the game. Yeah, really good. Right in front of Thomas Tuckle, who's uh, on the edge of his technical area. It's just in front of us, it's in the half that Bayern are attacking. Clock end away to our right hand side. Gabriel, a little bit rash, fouls Coleman. And it's a free kick to Bayern on halfway. We've got nine and a half to go here on Talk Sport. In terms of the uh, possession, second half, Arsenal have had almost exactly two-thirds of the ball and the XG advantage as well and the passing accuracy has been much better than Bayern's they've made it pay with one goal the Leandro Trossard equaliser on 75 minutes can they yet get more Preston 4, Huddersfield 1 Osmiic has got a 7-minute hat-trick in that game at Deepdale tonight now Crawley have one back but a 4-1 down at Wrexham here's Kingsley Coleman towards the edge of the penalty area he's cut inside onto his left foot low skinning effort he's going wide of Raya's near pose but it was a tame one and yeah. Raya was able to dive down and pick it up anyway and now we'll bowl it out for Saliba to get Arsenal going again a good run from Musiala on the halfway line rolls it out to Coleman oh I fancy him against Zinchenko Arsenal got to be careful in that respect he cut inside on his left foot Coleman didn't hit the shot it was a poor one and Raya threw his cap on it easily saved that's a good ball from Kane he's clipped it and towards the left wing and an opportunity to deliver from out there is uh, deflected from uh, Guerrero's delivery now we're going to play I think just the right side of the corner flag as far as Arsenal are concerned for a throw rather than for a corner and Davis goes across indeed to take a throw 
He went out right by the corner flag, but he's going to take the throw about level with the penalty spot. Trying to work it back towards Guerrero. The uh, reaction from the Arsenal players and fans on that far side suggest he ran it over the line and out. They'll be able to bring it forward again. Bayern switching the play from uh, left to right. And it's worked back towards halfway again. Here he goes from the link. Back towards Eric Dyer. Another goal in Madrid for Talksports Jeff Peters. This is extraordinary. Real Madrid 3, Manchester City 3. We've seen some great goals tonight. This is as good as any of them. Federico Valverde. Uh, a ball in from the left hand side. A right foot. First time volley. What a hit. 3 3 in the Bernabeu. 3 3 there. Remember. First leg of the semi-final ended all square between them last season. And they came back to Manchester and City blew them away. Uh, will it be a repeat 12 months on in the quarterfinals? This one, 2-2. Two, two. That one, 3-3. Three, three. And it continues live on TalkSport 2. No better night to have the TalkSport app than this. So you can easily swipe left and swipe right. And keep abreast of all of the action as it unfolds. Kimmich's got possession here for Bayern 2-2 two, two. he's got to make sure that he doesn't run into trouble he just got away from Trossard and then Lima saw Havertz coming and nudged it past him and now Conrad Lima brings it forward and a sense that this one might not end 2-2 two, two. ball play back towards the edge of the penalty area Musiala trying to turn great covering from Erdegaard Rice then buys a free kick off Lima and it's a free kick to Arsenal on the edge of their own penalty area full time which is going in the EFL now and it's uh, Blonis and Mary's big win for Southampton Southampton Jake. 2 Coventry 1 the Saints deserve winners in the end after taking the lead through Carl Walker-Peters then doubling it through Che Adams both in the first half Hadji Wright hit the bar with a penalty nine minutes when it was nil-nil as well Coventry pull one back midway through the second and that's how it finished Southampton 2 Coventry 1 so a win for Southampton on a night when Leicester are trailing and Leeds in an 8 o'clock kickoff are being held. Here's Ben White getting it forward for Declan Rice. Good night for Ipswich so far without a shadow of a doubt. Ball is over on the Arsenal right hand side with Saka. Saka on the edge of the penalty area. Back towards Erdegaard. Erdegaard taking it on. Saka's there trying to waltz his oh. way through. And then he clipped one across towards the far post. And Neuer turned, scrambled. Yeah. Mightily relieved to see that that was off target. And it drifted down towards the corner flash. It certainly was. They're just on their heels a little bit there, Trossard and Kai Havertz in the box. But it was a really clever floating, drifting cross with his right foot from Bakao Saka across the face of that Bayern goal. Neuer didn't want to step out and grab it. He stood on his line and just couldn't do anything about it. Couldn't get on the end of it. Another well, full-time scores in the championship. Plymouth 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1, Preston have beaten Huddersfield 4-1, Sheffield Wednesday 2, oh, Norwich 2. Two. Still Leeds 0, Sunderland 0, and Millwall 1, Leicester 0. And party for Havertz is the latest change, so now to see Erdegaard push further forward again. Yeah. Looks like, obviously, Gabriel Jesus, yeah, staying up the middle. Martin Odegaard may push that a little bit further forward. I still think he'll drift and he'll drop back and he'll... He's got a licence, put it this way, to get in and around Gabriel Jesus and get beyond him should they get the opportunity, should it present itself. 85 gone, you're listening to Arsenal against Bayern Munich in the Champions League on TalkSport with Village Hotels. Visit villagehotels.com. Second legs of both of these games are going to be fantastic. You'll hear them live on the TalkSport network. Now Musiala has been caught. And it's a free kick to Bayern. Well, they thought about taking it quickly, but uh, didn't. Uh, Davis just uh, spotting the ball down. I think he would have been taking it from the wrong place. Uh, Harry Kane's eyes have lit up. Yeah, it's a bit, bit of a clumsy challenge out from Bakao Saka on Musiala. He was the wrong side, desperately trying to get back, all for the right reasons. But again, he just nudged Musiala in the back. Down he goes, free kick. Looks like Harry Kane's going to leave this one. It is a fair way out to want to hit that, to really want to strike that. It's slightly on the angle, approaching 28 yards out, something like that. And David Raya has indicated that he wants three in the wall. He's just got his right shoulder down against the post. He's asking the wall just to shuffle across surreptitiously to its right. Uh, just to try and make sure that that near post area is being protected. It's a left footed ball, clipped in by Guerrero. Zinchenko got a defensive header to it, it's come off the top of his head. 
Adelik watches it out of play for a throw that will be taken on the by and right and Trossard in the midst of all of that got a, a bang to the back of the head and he needs maybe a little bit of treatment the referee coming across to see how he is so we'll get full time details from the Dan did they hold on? They did. Millwall won. Leicester nil. The leaders beaten thanks to a cracking goal from Ryan Romberg just before the hour mark. 20 yards out, curling into the top corner. Ian Acho did I with a brilliant goal like clearance near the end for Leicester. But Millwall win it. Millwall won. Leicester nil. Uh, so they stay top for now. But if Leeds can find a late winner against Sunderland, they will go back to the top. That one's still nil nil. There's an eight o'clock kickoff, so they've got about five minutes or so left to play there. Trossard's OK, he's back on his feet. Zinchenko's going to take a throw for Arsenal. I'll tell you something, PSG against Barcelona's got a bit to live up to tomorrow. It's our live game for you. That quarter-final first leg is on Talk Sport 2, build-up starting at 7. And the game kicking off at 8 here on Talk Sport, Adrian, will be uh, around the grounds, all the goals as they go in from the Champions League, the EFL and the Scottish Premiership, also including Atletico Madrid against Dortmund and Ipswich. Hoping to go back to the top of the championship tomorrow night at Honda Watford. Here's Erdegaard. We've got two minutes plus, I'm guessing, five to be added here. And it's 2-2. 3-3 two, two. Three, three still out in Madrid. Trossard across the edge of the penalty area, but not the best ball. And then Thomas Partey knew exactly what he was doing there. Retreating, stopping a by counter attack. Yeah. And he's given a free kick away. Knew he was going to get a yellow card, but uh, probably a good one to take. Very sensibly done from Thomas Partey because it was a square ball from Leandro Trossard. Very dangerous. You give those sort of square balls if they get cut out, people are flying straight through your team. Thomas Partey there using all his experience to just immediately bundle Musiala to the floor. So Partey, the first that Arsenal player to be booked tonight. Kane and Davis in the book for Bayern. Saka and Trossard scoring for Arsenal. Gnabry and Kane for Bayern. It's 2-2. Two, two. Arsenal have lost six of their last nine home games against German teams. Well, can they somehow scramble a late winner here? I think the roof will come off the place if they can. Party with a defensive header that uh, left a bit to be side. Kane has headed it on. I think Zinchenko probably has played Guerrero on side here, left hand side of the box. He'll get towards the byline, faced up by oh. White. Oh, and then Coman's hit the post, has it? With a left footed stab towards goal. And he's come back on the left hand upright, and Arsenal survive. Erdegaard getting it forward. Now they will try and get forward themselves. Trossard taking on Coman, comes back inside. Here's Thomas Partey, who's poor defensive had started all of that. Erdegaard's got it. Erdegaard making ground towards the edge of the penalty area. Back from him for Zinchenko to Partey. His ball forward given away. Cut out by uh, Jamal Musiala. And he'll play down towards the uh, Bayern Munich left-hand side and they'll be able to come towards halfway. An elaborate attempt to uh, try and win. A free kick comes to nothing. Jesus for Erdegaard. And another collision. Leaves bodies from uh, both teams on the deck. And the referee says play on and we're in five added minutes add 2-2 two, two. yeah both teams pushing pressing Bayern of course just trying to disrupt any of those Arsenal attacks now and the home team just trying to summon strength and energy from somewhere to put something significant something worthwhile together Bayern give it away it's out of play for an Arsenal throw Saka leaving it for Ben White 2-2 two, two, clearly not the end of the world as far as Arsenal are concerned but if they could get a winner here they would definitely back themselves to be able to get a positive result at the Allianz Arena next week second leg of this one is a week tomorrow as I know you know 8 o'clock kickoff, and you'll hear it on the TalkSport network Zinchenko options to his left options to his right and he's just shuffling the ball square along the halfway line at the moment and then it's been given away again another turnover of possession another opportunity for Bayern to try and bring it forward and then they too have given it away Zinchenko couldn't get on the end of the pass though Kane will pick it up Je Jesus fouled him referee says play on Bayern still in possession Kimmich to Coburn off the top of his boot Rice is first to get there plays it back for Gabriel 2-2 two -two with four minutes to stop it's down to go Partey hits uh, Long diagonal out towards the Arsenal right-hand side here for Bakayo Saka. 
Saka taking it down towards the touchline, pulling it back towards halfway where he finds Ben White. But there's an urgency now for Arsenal to get the ball forward and they're not really transmitting that. A sense that they know that they can't afford to lose this. Jesus. They're not gambling with impunity here. This no. certainly isn't all the chips being put on red or black. Oh. And then Trossard can't control a relatively simple ball in his direction. And it goes out of play for a bye throw, level the edge of their own penalty area. They're, right, go. they're right not to do that, Jim. They are absolutely right not to go, you know, Gabriel or Saliba go flying forward and give the ball away and allow Kane and Co to really punish them. Look, they've worked so hard to get back into this game. There's another 90 minutes, 90 plus minutes yet to do in Munich. Not going to be straightforward for Arsenal if it finishes two apiece. However, can they do it? Yes, they can. Of course they can. I think they can play a little bit better than they have tonight. Some of their football has been good. And then at times, as we mentioned, the goals they conceded, I think they'll learn a lot from them today. If they concede another one like that next week, well, maybe it's not going to be their time. But I'm not so sure they will. I think now they've had a good look at Bayern here. They know that they are capable if they allow them to and I think that's what it's all about next week making sure they cut out those sloppy needless mistakes still Real Madrid 3 Manchester City 3 still 2-2 here yeah. with a couple of minutes or so to go uh, Trossard leaving the ball for Zinchenko to take a throw Trossard then made a, a run through the midfield just trying to hook it over the top for Jesus Neuer will be able to control it firstly on his thigh then with his right foot and then bends down to pick the ball up and he's in no hurry to get the ball for 2-2 a better result for Bayern than it is for Arsenal that goes without saying Arsenal have only failed to win four of their 20 games here in all competitions this season Bayern have won barely half of the ones that they played away from home Rice back towards Zinchenko can Arsenal create one yeah. last chance they're inside their own half bringing it forward with Gabriel finding Saliba Saliba out towards Bakayo Saka. Saka coming in off the right flank. Thomas Partey able to bring it forward. Trossard's in acres of space on the left-hand side of the area. If they can what? get it forward towards him, and they claim that they should have a free kick. Erdegaard's gone down, and the referee said, no, nothing wrong with that. Bayern hammer it away to safety. Yeah, Martin Erdegaard, they received the ball with his left foot, took a nice touch, hit the floor, didn't get the free kick. Arsenal back on the ball on the halfway line. Leeds against Sunderland still nil nil. It's just ticked into stoppage time there. Got a couple of minutes of stoppage time to go here. Go on. Not even that. Chance here for Saka. Saka. Oh, oh has so. Moya caught him. Referee says no. Now the VAR will have a look at it. He looked as though Saka had nudged it past Neuer. There's no need for him to go to ground in that position. Referee says no foul. Play goes on. VAR will be having a look at it as we speak. Arteta is adamant that it should have been a penalty. Tell you what, he's in agony because Saka, he, lo he looks like he's done something serious here, the Arsenal man. And in fact, Neuer senses that because he is telling the Arsenal medical oh. staff that they need to get over and see the Bakayo Saka. That is the end of the game. It finishes 2-2. It finishes steep wow. in controversy with Bakayo Saka writhing in agony in one penalty area and all of the Arsenal players surrounding the referee near the other and consulting and asking why a penalty wasn't given for what they felt was a foul by Neuer on Saka right at the end of the game. Oh, incredible finish to the game. I mean, Bakayo Saka has sprinted through. He's in the box. Manuel Neuer comes out. It looks like Saka just drags his leg a little bit. Massive contact. I'm not sure in Munich next week if Harry Kane does the same. I bet Arsenal won't get away with it. I bet they'll get a penalty. But it looked like Bukayo Saka had just kind of left his leg hanging there, dragging just a little bit. But uh, thankfully, thankfully, Jim, he's back up on his feet more than anything. He had a little bit of treatment. He's now making his way down towards the halfway line. Breaks into a trot to intercept referee Glenn Niebuhr by the halfway line before he goes down the tunnel. Saka 
trying to get a message across to the referee and one of the Arsenal staff just restraining him I mean, so that he doesn't get himself into trouble. The good news is that he is OK. It looked for a moment with the way that he was slapping the ground and Neuer's reaction that he had a serious problem which can have ramifications for the rest of the season. That at least doesn't seem to be the case. But What, what could have happened there though? The referee could easily have pointed to the spot and then would he have overturned it? I'm not so sure he would. He could easily have pointed to the spot there. It was that sort of decision. I've seen it once in slow motion. And my gut reaction was that Bukayo Saka maybe just left his leg hanging and trailing a little bit. Didn't initiate the contact because the goalkeeper was coming out. It's just that he kind of left his leg there and Neuer inevitably hit it. Down he went, no penalty. That could easily have been... The referee could easily have pointed to the spot there, but he wasn't having any of it. Andy, I'm sorry, I'm going to put you on the spot. A one-word answer. If your referee, having seen the replay, which obviously the referee has Having seen the replay once, yeah. have you given that? Are you giving that? No, I don't think I am. I don't think I'm giving it. I don't think I am. I think, I think from what I saw there, on that one angle... It looked like Saka just left his leg there, knowing there's going to be some contact. Well, the night started with a moment of drama from Bakayo Saka, giving Arsenal the lead. So much unfolded after that. It ended with a night... The, uh, the night ended with Bakayo Saka involved with an incident right at the end of the game. No penalty. It's 2-2. And all to play for in Bavaria next week after a stunning night of Champions League action here in North London. Jim, thanks very much. He's finished three all Real Madrid, Man City as well. We'll round that up very shortly. But Andy Townsend, I make you right. He looked to me like Bukayo Saka had gone past Neuer, or was going past Neuer, and then flicked out his right foot just a bit didn't to, to make the contact, to engineer the contact. And the very fact that he's gone down, looks injured, and then he's sprinting towards the ref doesn't do help him at all. Well, maybe not, maybe not. But how many times do you see decisions like that going against some of our teams? And, and it's, it's, it's the sort of decision in European football, Adrian, over the years that I've seen our teams get punished for. Manuel Neuer is in no man's land. He's not going to get there. Bukayo Saka will sprint onto the end of the ball, gets the first touch he wants, but he just leaves his leg hanging just a little bit too long and a bit too much, which is why the referee didn't point to the spot. Um, I think the bigger question is, why didn't he just carry on and score? Well, looked... Because he's because the contact has sent him down. He's gone down. No, but he, I thought he engineered that contact. He yeah, could have avoided might, it. What well, maybe? Maybe he could have done. Maybe he could have done aid. Yeah. Again, I've only seen that just one very quick angle. Again, maybe he could have done. But once once the contact happens, he's always going to hit the floor there. Anyone, everyone would hit the floor there. And he goes down. Referee says no. I'm I'm. I'm not surprised he doesn't give it, but you know what? I've seen I've seen plenty of refs point to the spot and then say to the VAR guys, "You pick the bones out of that." I've seen that happen an awful lot. Tonight, the referee decided no, he's not having it. I would, I would agree that I think if he's given, it doesn't get overturned. But that's the weird world of VAR that we probably will never understand. But overall, what a game of football! Arsenal have given themselves a great chance in the in the second leg. Going to Munich. Bayern Munich have got a great chance. Terrific game. Yes, it was a. It's been a look. It's been an incredible night across all the Talksport channels. What we've witnessed here was brilliant. Good start from Arsenal, getting in front, conceding a couple of needless sloppy goals. They could have been prevented, but kept battling, battling. It was a. It was a gritty, determined effort. Second half that got them back on uh, on level terms. And then right at the end, wow, a huge slice of controversy that just didn't go their way. Absolutely right. Fantastic game of football. And the uh, second leg next Wednesday, of course, it's going to be live on TalkSport.